Hi, Chad. Have fun. I'm gonna leave soon ish. Soon. Soon. I drew. <sighs> Hoping to have the recap of yesterday up later today. Hopefully. <laughs> but, um, first round four, guys. See you on the other side.
Hello, can you hear me? Please. I don't know if you need this room, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Hello, chat. Uh, the stream was muted, but now I'm here. Because Blue Boy, I guess, is not joining our call. I don't know why. Um, and yeah, I guess you're stuck with me. So we have a friend, uh, Tara's friend, with, uh, with Bishop E7, the Morozovic variation. And it looks like Anna has, I don't know if she remembered her prep incorrectly or he, or she, uh, she's, she has this in, in her prep, but the computer doesn't like knight of six at all. And it's because of, uh, yeah, e5, knight back to d7. Now this is, this is, uh, basically the same as the Taras mainline, but our bishop is on e7, which is not what you want to do usually. Usually you want to play like c5. So white is probably theoretically better here. The good thing is that Anna's opponent didn't play that immediately. So C probably does not have this in her prep. Because then we would be in trouble. So she probably does not know like how to continue, I think. Uh, and yeah, here white has a very dangerous move. That is queen to g4. And queen to g4 takes advantage of the fact that their bishop is on e7, not on f8. Uh, so normally, yeah, the, the bishop would be on f8 and the pawn would be on c5 in this position. And queen to g4 is actually a very good move. So we, we probably would have to go g6 or something. I don't know. Okay, it's not it's not like we're losing, but we have to make like some weakness. And if we go g6, then f6, which is a typical break in the French, uh, becomes harder to achieve. Now, if white plays something normal, like uh, I don't know, bishop d3, we can just play c5, and I guess we're fine. Although still. We, we, there are still queen g4 ideas. That's that's why bishop doesn't really belong on e7 in this line. So she probably definitely forgot something because yeah, that is that is like a transposition to to the main line Taras. The bishop does not go to e7 in that line. I mean, it does, but much later. So Yeah, castling looks risky after queen g4. Like, white is just attacking your king side and you're castling right into the attack. This is still theory. Uh, this has been played sometimes, even by grandmasters. Even uh, a 15 year old Jan Nepomneshi has played this in 2005. Um, and and other grandmasters, I see. Elizabeth Page, uh, Bartel, Mateus Bartel, uh, David Anton. They have played this position. Um, actually, Black has even won some games from this position. But I guess in current theory, this this would be considered bad for for Black after Queen G four. But usually in the in the French, the computer uh, overestimates white space advantage a lot of the time. So this probably not as bad as it looks. So we can we can definitely uh, come back from this. Uh, I don't sound too optimistic. I'm just a bit worried that she forgot how her theory looks like. But she she looks uh, she looks quite confident. I would say so. Maybe I shouldn't be uh, that worried. I mean, it's not like we're losing. Like this is still the opening, and it looks like what uh, it looks like. Camille is also unfamiliar with the position because she is taking a lot of time. I'm not a fan of. Yeah, I don't like the friends. I'm not a big fan, but I uh, I accept Anamaya playing it because 
She plays it in an active way. Like, she's not the typical French player who just sits back and defends the entire game and does nothing. So, I am fine with the French. In fact, there are a lot of uh, French players in this tournament. A 40, 40 stream streak, well, that is amazing. What do I play against e4? Uh, I either play e5 or c5 or d6, I think. Or, yeah, I don't think I've... I've played the Karo Khan once in OTB. I don't think I've ever played the French in OTB. Probably not. Yeah, I, play, I played a couple couple of games at the Philidor from uh, Pepe Cuenca's course, famous Spanish GM. What is the opening name? Uh, you mean D6? So it's, it's either the Pirch, which is like D6, Knight of 6, G6 structures, or the Philidor, which is D6 and E5 later. I mean, my experiment with the Karo Khan did not go so well. I won, but it was a very lucky win. So it was like the last round of a tournament in, uh, in Budapest. I was very tilted because I had thrown away some good positions. I was playing some 1900 guy and I played the Karo Khan. He played like e5. I played c5, which is second line. He took the pawn and I didn't know what to do. So I was just down a pawn for the entire game. And then in the end game, I swindled him. Like it was rook and pawn against rook and two pawns, but I won with the rook and pawn because he 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 played horribly in the end game. And he was really tilted after the game. Yes, Blue Boy, it's a new prediction. Actually, let me predict. Okay. What are the odds? Hmm. I want to bet on a win, but the odds are against it. So you guys can doubt, so then I can win more channel points from you. Let's make a deal. <sighs> okay, so Camille is thinking. She might play Queen G4, I feel like. Because she, she is thinking, she, she probably is thinking like this cannot be... Uh, Cannot be correct. Okay, no. She played. She played different moves. She played bishop to d3. Okay, and now we play c5. And okay, now we're fine, I guess. This can't transpose to the main line. Yeah, c5. Okay. Why evil doesn't like it? Uh, well, the, the difference is that white can still play queen g4. The difference is we, we moved our bishop on e7 too early for this line. So, yeah, so white can still kind of punish us with queen g4. But this is, this is not a terrible position. This is pretty good. In fact, I look at the database. And uh, black has won more than white from, from this position. So that is pretty good. Yeah, so the difference basically is that our bishop back on f8 protects g7. So queen g4 ideas are, don't work. So what could still try to, to go queen g4? And then we would have to, to figure out something. But white can also play a normal move like knight e2 or knight f3, knight g2 f3. In which case after knight c6, I think it's just a transposition. White can also play f4, it transposes to this steinage variation after knight c6 again, so... 
Hello. Hello. Hi. Good to have you. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I won't be here for too long. No worries. To... No worries, man. Thanks for joining in. Um, feel free to leave or stay whenever you want. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose we're going back into almost mainline. Just the bishop e7 is a little early, but... Yeah, we're up on time. Yay! Woohoo! Yeah, she's confused, I think. Like, she's probably thinking, how can I take advantage of it? But she doesn't know the move queen g4, I guess. Or she would have played mm -hmm. it earlier. Is queen g4 really that bad? Like, does that mean we cannot castle? I mean, we could castle, but it looks scary, at least. I don't think there's anything, like, crossing for white. It's just a bit unpleasant. We, we probably have to play, like, f5 at some point. Just kick away the queen I mean, or something. She's gonna play... Oh, okay. F5 is gonna happen in this game, I think. In any case. Yeah, or f6, depending. Yeah. F6. She yeah. doesn't pressure us too much. If she doesn't pressure us too much, we can go f6 later. Or g5. Uh, the, the idea of bishop on e7 on this line... Uh, uh, there is a line where black pushes g5. I don't remember exactly how it is, but... I, I remember studying this for white. There is a line with black versus g5, and it's very complicated. G5. I, I assume Anamaya knows this theory. She's looking at us, saying, are you sure? She no. is. <laughs> She's staring at us like she knows that I just joined the call. Like, oh no. Um, also, sorry for ignoring YouTube chat. Hi. I keep forgetting that we have two streams. Oh, Welcome, everyone. Yeah, I was also Welcome. ignoring that, sorry. <laughs> right. Um, yeah. So, guys, this is, uh, for those who don't know, <clears throat> this is NY's WGM Norm Tournament. Um, today is round four. This is round four on day two. She is currently on 0 0.5 out of three. And after today, there are five more games. If she wins every game from now, including this, she gets a WGM Norm. If she doesn't, then it's going to be only experience for her, I'm afraid. But good thing she has other tournaments planned as well, right after. After this tournament, next month she's going to play in Sunway. That's in Formentera. So yeah, lots more content OTB coming up. Gonna be or be for like two minutes because I need to respond to something. So sure. Maybe. I'm gonna do my customary question. Bucks, are you here? Do you hear me? Are you gonna are you gonna tell me what I wanna hear? <laughs> Always so much fun. Hi, Fur9 Physic. Go Switzerland. I remember, wasn't it you who were rooting, uh, who was rooting against Anamaya for one round in Reykjavik Open because she faced a Swiss player? Or was that someone else? Hi, Learner. Welcome. Alberto, good to see you. <clears throat> this position is still in theory for Anamaya. I believe she's had games in this position multiple times. So yeah, we're good. Hi, Ronald on YouTube. Yes, you will be getting recaps by Anamaya on this tournament as well. But they will be out a bit later. Like They're not going to go out every day because she's too busy. There's double rounds every day and it needs editing and stuff. Uh, but she is doing recaps, actually. Even though... Um, there's a lot on her plate. She wants to keep the YouTube thing going. So that's nice. Make sure whenever the videos go out, you guys go ahead and show some support there. Like, comment. Like, she really likes the YouTube comments a lot. I remember during the recap of Reykjavik, on one video, people were commenting about her making a summary video. And she said she's going to do it. I don't know if she's done it, but it's going to be there, which is great. She likes to update everyone on her journey 
on the road to WGM, which is good to see. Mm -mm. Hi, Pat. Welcome back. Two games per day is crazy, and especially if you've seen her last game earlier today. It was the last game to finish of the round, and it was crazy. She was okay in the opening. She spent a lot of time. She went down like 30 or 40 minutes at some point, and then she was completely lost. And then her opponent couldn't find the move. Then she created counterplay, and the position was a dead draw. Then she had a full win, but she couldn't find the move. And then she sacrificed uh, something. Her opponent had to give the piece back. And then she had a knight for like three or four pawns. Crazy. Crazy game that ended in a draw. So yeah, she it's safe to say she's exhausted or, you know, um, she's had a lot going on. But okay, we're here and we're playing. We're currently on move seven. And her opponent's taking a suspicious amount of time, actually. I wonder if she's more stressed or exhausted, I think. Oh, look, we have another scarf, dude. What's with the scarf? Is it cold in there? We finally have a move. Knight from D to F3. Interesting. Where's the other knight going? Is that going to E2? Wow. Okay, the PGNs are not updating for some reason. Normally, we see the moves on the PGN before the camera, but something's going off. Let's hope it gets fixed. Matt, I don't know what you mean by they French. She's from the Switzerland. She's Swiss. Yeah, okay, chat. The PGN is uh, is acting up. So the current position on the board is not the one you see on the screen. Mm, knight D F three has been played, and currently in the Masters database, there's only one game that has been played in this position, which was won by White, and they were. Players of 22, 2300. Yeah, okay. Yeah, nobody on this. None of the two players are French, as far as I know. Unless Camille has a dual nationality. I don't even know if that's a thing. Can you be French and Swiss together? I don't know. Yes, and Tanisers, you're right. She just has to remember what to do. Normal moves in this position are develop the other knight as usual. Knight c6 is an idea. Maybe not castle too early. Knight c6, queen b6 is always there. Yeah, the usual pressure d4, like French. Uh, Manny, it's not that bad. Engine is just having a bad time today also the position on the board is not the live position the pgn is stuck is delayed i don't know why and there's nothing we can do about it i'm sorry um but yeah currently we are one move behind and i should play knight c6 and she already has uh what's the time 20 minutes yeah about 20 minute advantage on the clock i mean it doesn't matter much because it's only the opening but all right <laughs> can you hear me well though by the way guys anyone is my voice okay is my sound all right um hi animal charity channel on youtube mm, this is a good start yes she's comfortable in these structures this is her opening, the French defense, and she played bishop e7 quite quickly, which means 
she knows what she's doing. So I guess we will find out where she goes with this. <clears throat> Thanks. Hello again. Hello. Uh, uh, actually, uh, the PGNs are stuck. Oh. Oh, really? Okay, interesting. Yeah, look. And... There is an idol F3, I see, yeah? Exactly. It was from DF3, by the way. Oh. Okay. Hi, David. Yeah, you need to get yourself checked, David. Don't forget your pills. Night DF3, okay. And the leaders were so confused, or Chesacom were so confused from... Yeah. That that's... <laughs> It didn't even Yeah, even I'm, on, like, I'm watching both sides. Yep, nothing. Okay, I guess we will have the pigeon soon. Mojo, Jojo, I would pick black here. Just because I never play this with white. <laughs> Maybe DF3 is weird, though. Like, I guess the other knight is going to E2. E2, yeah. It's the only. It makes, it makes sense. Usually, one is 92 okay. first. And then True, it does. okay. Yeah, is the F6 will break. Yes, you're right. Knight E2 will be coming soon, I think. But Anna's just probably making sure that this DF3 is not uh doesn't have something secret. But we'll see. I mean, this is a difficult mean, reference position. Like, knight, knight c6, knight, knight, knight e2, two. something like this. Yeah, knight c6, knight e2, queen b6, maybe? Or castles, what do you want? I don't know. Usually, oh. you, you take on d4 and go f6. This is the theory, I think. This this is transposition, I'm pretty sure. True, nice. true. Actually, it isn't. Wait, what am I missing here? We played b7. Does she really want... Do you think she wants to send her H and G pawns again before castling? Nah, not here. I don't think so. Okay. Unless, Good. I don't know. If white castles early, maybe. But I guess white would just develop that. 92. Is there someone we can reach out to for the PGN? Nah, I think it's okay. We have camera. Can I update the board? No. Yes, Agjet, can you please update the board? Thank you. Uh, unless I go to Spain and steal <laughs> Anamaya's laptop and put the correct position there. Or, you know, instead of you going to Spain, there is a better idea. There is someone else we can spend, send to the tournament. And yeah. that person's in chat. Mm -hmm. We actually have two Spanish people in chat. Alberto is, Alberto is actually closer to Zahara. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yes. So he's, he's in Andalusia. But, uh, but Max can also. I'm, I'm pretty sure he, he already planned a surprise visit. So he can yeah, also go exactly. There. Today I thought we saw Box at the end of last stream. I really thought that was him, but he said it's not him. So, I guess he's uh, hiding himself from us still, and he will surprise us later. Bucks and Alberto, you should both meet. Oh, well, Bert is even further, okay. Excuses. That's what, that's what Anna says when I say I'm in Sydney. <laughs> Excuses. Man, it's, <laughs> it's true for you as well. I mean, you, you have been to Europe, right? Never. Really? 
Yes. Wow. What is the f- further west you have been? The Middle East. Oh, okay. The GCC. <clears throat> She plays B6. Okay. Okay. Valid move, I guess. Um, looking at the Lee Chess Masters database. Top games. First game is played by Matthews. But they're really and, uh, old games. Like true. This game is okay when Anamaya was a newborn. Okay, but b6 is a classic idea. We want to play bishop a6 and trade off our bad bishop. And where does the knight go from a6? Mm, I guess we can go to c7. I don't know. Are we maybe like even reinforcing back, Maybe even back to b8. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> the, the, the problem is like we're trading the good bishop because if, uh, if black, let's say, instead of b6, he a sea castle there, then the bishop on d3 would actually be really scary. Very strong, yeah. I have lost games due to this. Yeah, there would be like bishop h7 ideas. Yeah. Imagine this knight could even go like to h3, and then there would be like bishop h7. Oh, yeah. It takes knight hg5, bishop g5, knight, the other knight replaces on g5. And yeah. I had a game like this OTB actually, uh, well, a few weeks ago. Do you play a French? Got, I played the French and I got uh, I got destroyed, as in in the opening, because I was too late to develop my pieces. My king side was stuck, and I got bishop h7. I got jet I got Anamaya yeah. jetted We got Greek gifted. This is a classic yeah. like way to beat yeah. middle rated players. I would say in the French because yeah, they but, they often yeah. underestimate the attack. True. I I just I saw it right after he played it, and then. I knew that I couldn't take it. If I took it, I'm I'm getting destroyed. Queen h5 and knight g5 yeah. is coming. And I'm getting... So I had to play king h8. But he made a few inaccuracies like in the next five, six moves. And he managed to get the bishop on h7 trapped. <laughs> okay. Amazingly. And somehow I'm up a piece. And then, yeah, I went ahead. I sacked an exchange. And I came back and won like a very nice game. I destroyed his... Uh, Hopes and dreams. That guy went. So that was the third game of day one. He was on zero out of two. He was so sad. So sad. He was devastated. I felt bad. But I felt good to come back and win, you know? I yeah. think, think the position was like plus eight at that point when he stacked the bishop. But uh, then he lost. And yeah, it was a good win. I'll show it to you sometime, I guess. Sure. Fun fact, Botas played this line in Reykjavik, messed up the move order too, but playing knight of 6 before c5, and white missed the cross in g4 there. Yeah, I mean, if you don't know it, it's easy to, you know, to think, okay, this is a normal French position, and I mm. don't have anything. I was a bit worried at the start, because she might have prepared against it, you know, because in this tournament, everyone mm. is preparing against everyone. Everyone's preparing, yeah, especially well against Anamaj. So, yeah. I was a bit worried that she prepared this and she would play 24 and get a very scary looking very position. But, scary uh, position. It, it looks like she doesn't know what to do either. Yeah, but now queen g4 is out of the question. And, yeah, exactly. And Amaya yeah. is out of the screen. And her opponent is out of prep. And Bux is out of chat. There's a guy in chat, Frank's, French expert e6. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've seen this person before. Hi, French expert. After b6, there is that funny 94 move where if takes, you take with the bishop and the rook is trapped. Wow, okay. But you can't put a knight in a4. Because, well, neither knight can be b4. High speed from YouTube? Yes. The rating, the numbers make no difference to the player's gender. 
it's only some titles that are separate for women only, but the other titles are for everyone, not just men. So women can get all the titles, men can only get open titles. I am a little worried about the PGN. Yes, yeah, same, but I don't know who can we contact to get this, because exactly. I don't know anyone from this tournament. I mean, it's not that we're not getting moves, but yeah, chess.com... I wonder if the other games... No, I think the other games are stuck as well. You know, how, how can you tell that easily? Because there's a huge damn difference in all five games. So that, that means probably oh, there's something wrong. Yes, actually, you're right. I, I see. Guess they 30 minutes, stuck. 20 minutes, 20 minutes... Yep. Uh, DF3 B6. And let, let me run the engine, see what it thinks. So, hi, Stockfish. Nice emote there. <coughs> uh, speed 999. That is not biased. It's done. I mean, it's necessary. It's done to encourage them to play. Yeah, I don't think that is that is possible yet. No. She's. And why was smiling and laughing at something? I'm looking at the YouTube stream, and I have it on delay. <laughs> So she's still at the board. Board updated. Woohoo! Oh, really? Okay, nice. Yes, nice. let's go. Okay. okay. Thanks, whoever did it. <clears throat> and now, yeah, no, no. yes, all the times are actually closer now. I just see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's an easy yeah. way because often it gets stuck for all games. So you, yeah. you kind of... Again, so we can see the database here. Yeah, oh. we see the old games. Thanks, French expert. Oh, you did it. Nice. Thank you. Thanks, Sean. H4. Thanks, everyone. Uh, you did it. Recommend it in the chat. But H4 was not played. Alpha Zero style. No, now oh. H4 is where it's no red. Yeah. H4 now would be something. It, it makes anyway, sense. The times yeah. But okay, we, we have in castle, so it's not nothing to watch. Just Bishop A6, mm -hmm. normal. Hi, Rabbit. Yes, Anna looks different indeed. <laughs> we have a move. And H4 was played. Our Camille yeah. here, she is. Going alpha zero style. Yeah, it's a good move. I yeah. guess he wants that knight to go to no to h three. Well, it's a good to play that anyway. But uh, yeah, H3 four or no? Yeah, maybe. But we haven't castled yet, so. Can, Is there a chance just... you think she will castle queenside? Depends. She might, yeah. First, first night, I don't think. She normally doesn't, but she played it quickly, so I think she's prepared something there. She had prepared something there. Yeah, I think she does play Bishop B7. Yeah, that's her main, like, move against Taurus. She, oh. she probably got confused by C3, because C3 is not... It's, C3 is actually the fourth most played move in the database. So mm -hmm. everyone usually goes, like, Bishop D3 or Knights GF3. Developing a piece, right? It doesn't really make yeah. sense to play C3. What are you really doing? Okay. But so, after C3, C5 is the, is the correct move, not Knight F6. So, right. That, that's so probably what she, she, she ignores the H4 right now, and she continues with her plan of B6. That is followed by Bishop A6, challenging the yeah. strong Bishop yeah, of good. White on D3. So is uh, bishop c2 a move? 
that prevents white from castling. That's the point. Like that's why you play bishop a six. Um, so if white sidesteps this attack, then she can't castle anymore. All right. Rook h3, are you serious? No. That's crazy. I mean, it's possible. Because the position is so close. So when the center is closed, you can do this kind of rook crazy maneuvers like right. von yeah. and rook lift. But the thing, is, again, is that after rook h3, white can't castle. So you have to worry about your yeah. rooking as well. Yep, exactly. Let me refresh because my streams are lagging a bit. No, we don't have moves. Yes, Camille, please take a deep think. Take all the time you need. Hello, hello, Vlad. <clears throat> the move order was pretty interesting. I'll give you the moves. Sorry about the format, but these are the moves. The Chesscom Evil Bar is doing weird things. Never mind that one. <laughs> I mean, what, uh, the engine is always going to think white's better in this position because white has more space. Yeah. And it's Black the doesn't classic really have, French yeah. eval. Black doesn't really have anything to kind of show for it, but Black is very solid, is it? And there is the pressure on d4, of course, which can be applied later. Oh, yeah, chat. If anyone's looking for coaching for chess, give this website a visit. I hear there's a very good FIDE national instructor who's taking students right now. And if you want to play the French defense or any other openings. Your first night. Oh. Yes, say say what you want. We we talked at the same time. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say first night and mine also has WIM, but chess.com thinks FM is a higher title or something. So they put that on the priority. Yes, you were saying? I was uh, reading out a comment on YouTube. It says the great Dennis Grandmaster, Bent Larson. Once said that if you can't think of anything else, you can always play an edge pawn move. That is a mm. interesting, interesting take, especially given like it was said probably in like the nineteen sixties or something, uh -huh. where uh, alpha think, zero was not really a thing. Alpha zero, right? Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, you can convince yourself that it's true. Like you can make some good arguments for that it being true. An edge pawn. I'm sorry for my weird pronunciation. But if you look like at modern theory, there's a lot of lines where you push the A pawn, you push the A pawn, which yes. wouldn't be considered. I mean, even like there, there are some people whose main repertoire is like 1d4, 2c4, 3h4. So something wow. like d4, knight d4, c4, c4, h4, c4, g6, and then h4. This has been played, I think, wow. even. In GM level. All right, interesting. I know. I know. At one point, I had a phase where I used to play with black, 
with the white pieces. So I used to start with one H3 or one A3 and then played the black openings. What was the uh, reason for that? Um, I don't know. Not, not very sure. This was before I knew any theory, anything at all. Yeah, just troll your opponent. 1A3, 1A3. Yeah, 1A3, 1A3. I didn't know that there is like good openings, bad openings, nothing. Make it if you can be good at some point. I don't know. Yeah. I remember uh, Anna Kramling's opponent in the last round in Reykjavik played Uh A3, I believe. Either A3 or A3. Yeah, I think 1A3, 1A3. Yeah. And did uh, Anna Kramling win? No, she lost to one eight three. Oh, so, it's it. I mean, it's not terrible. Like, I'm pretty sure. Like, okay, it's not terrible. It's move it's one. A, it's not terrible. I'm pretty sure it's equal. Like the if you let the engine think I'm not very high enough, it would probably say like zeros. What's the worst first move you can think of? Mm. I don't think there is one, right? I think the engine says G4 is the worst move, but Alberto will be very mad at me if I say G4. <laughs> Alberto's so, going to have something to say there. <laughs> so probably F3 is the worst, but uh, evil was G4, yeah. I, I know that as well. All right. All right. Add Jen and chat, let me ask you guys a question. Uh, after the starting position, 1 E4, E5, what is the worst move on the board by White? The worst. Hello, are you still here? Uh, you're asking me as well? Do you know the solution? I would say bishop a6. Correct. Bishop a6 is the answer, not king e2, guys. That <laughs> a piece, yeah. Bishop a6 just hangs a piece. <laughs> Resign. Chat, you so good answer as well. But you can resign. Yeah. That's not a move, but okay. If it's ultra bullet, Bishop A6 would be a good move. Yeah, you, you play like Pac Man with a Bishop. Bishop A6 takes B7, takes A8. Takes B7, takes A8. <laughs> Do you play any of these bullet time controls? Like no. super, hyper, ultra? I am old and slow. Even one minute is um, too fast for me nowadays. Okay. I mean, when it, the, the thing is, if I really like focus, I can play good bullet, I guess. I was 2600 on leeches and bullet. But Oof. without playing chess, like my chess is terrible, but I play really fast. So usually I flag my opponents. Nice. Why is the clock in the wrong place? Uh, usually the clock is put to the left of the white player. I guess. Yes, but in this case, they have said it like this um, because the arbiters need to be able to see the clock better or easier. Because this yeah. table is on the far side, arbiters can go from the from like Anamaya's left and look at the board and the position. Yeah. This this is correct, yes. That's why they have the white and black player on the right and left. <clears throat> So we're already almost 30 minutes up on time, right? That's, that's the yes. correct approach. So that is the correct time, advantage. exactly. That's a huge advantage. It, I mean, it does look like a... Okay, I want to know how did she do in her previous game, actually? Like, is she extremely exhausted or something? I mean, it doesn't seem right lost. to be taking this so. I think she lost the previous game. She lost. She lost to... Anamaya's first round opponent. Oh, yeah. Let me quickly take a look. Hmm. 
So Kameli is currently at one and a half points. The one against the other, uh, there... the other 2000, the other WFM, they low rated. Uh, yeah. And then she drew an IM. So she's, she's playing pretty well in this tournament. She's already gaining 12 rating punch. True, yeah. 1.5 now is already very good for her. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit strange. Mm -hmm. I agree with uh, with Anta Antani Sirs. That white is thinking because surely Bishop A6 was she should have seen that coming. But maybe she's calculating some line, I don't know. I just saw the previous game by Kami yeah, earlier today. It was, uh, she had two bishops versus her opponent's single rook and a few pawns. And she managed to lose that game. Interesting, like the white found some really good moves to win. Nice. But okay, it's I agree. Good. The, it's Matthew, guys. Really good. Yeah, the... the this Matthew guy is really good, I know. He's studying end games every day now. <laughs> How do I think of H4, H5, H6? Yeah. <laughs> so do you know that Blue Boy, like in Greek, in Greece, we we use like Greek letters for chess notation. Okay. So it's okay, like speaking so, in math, basically. So what you say, Bishop? Alpha six. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this this yeah. would be there. Wow. Um, wait. I want to know the letters now. <laughs> alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon, Z, zeta, zeta. Yeah. Eta, we say eta. zeta, but it's the same, I guess. Zeta. Okay, so it's zeta, eta, theta. Uh, yes. Iota, kappa, lambda, mu, yes, yes. mu. Uh, Omicron? Yeah, unless you're, uh, well, unless you're playing 20 by 20 chess, those letters are not needed. No, it's 20 by 20. No, I'm just reading. Omicron? Pi? I don't think it's pi. Is it? Is it phi? It's... Wait, you confused me. First of all, you forgot some letters. <laughs> we oh, have C uh, as well. C, C, yes. I, oh, I, okay, there's new, there's C. Is it C? C, yes. C, C Omicron, Omicron, P, Rho, Sigma, P, Tau. Rho, Sigma, Tau, Epsilon, Phi, or Phi? Phi, Phi, C, C, Omega. C, C, Omega. Nice. Uh, cool. Giros. Giros. <laughs> I think that's the only word in that. In the Greek that I know, Euros. It's I know what to order when I go to Greece now. <laughs> yeah, anyone who studied engineering or higher math degrees, they will know these letters. Yeah, they probably pronounce them wrong. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. <clears throat> I mean, yeah. the, the funny the funny thing was like, when I was studying in Denmark, I probably mm -hmm. have told this story before, but whatever. We had a Greek uh, teaching teaching assistant in in uh, one course, mm -hmm. book, actually in robotics. He mm -hmm. was obviously Greek, like he had a Greek name. He 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 spoke super Greek accent, and yeah, mm -hmm. but he actually tried to pronounce the Greek letters in an English way and English way. <laughs> and he pronounced him super funny, like also very wrong as well. Yeah. So yeah, he was he was obviously like confused how to say the Greek letters. Alpha, beta, gamma, epsilon, eps epsilon, epsilon, zeta, theta. Okay, we have a move. Oh, have finally, we have a move. Knight? Okay. Knight to G five. That's interesting. 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 So, as it stands, the h7 is under attack, but what's the point? 
Not Can we take on D3? I would just take the bishop, yeah. And then play H6? Or F6? F6? Well, it's the... Uh, F6 times E6, so you can't do that. Um, oh, sure. Cool, so H6. A6, there might be some suck and E6 again. Not sure. This is actually interesting. Uh, so uh, Anna has to be careful here, I think, because there are some sucks on E6 that uh, have to be taken into consideration. I guess that's what C was calculating. Okay, so Anna has taken on D3. Okay, and Queen will and take back immediately. Queen takes back, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now Anna has to be careful because. Actually, a6 is terrible. After knight a6, white wins. So knight e6, I want to see the line now. Actually, knight e6 we take, how do we... Oh, because queen comes to... Check, and then knight e2, f4, e6. Yeah, this is pressing. Oh, yeah. The king's position is just trash, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I mm -hmm. have to be careful here, not move the, the h1. Um, which... Of course, the next question is, what do we play if we don't play the H1? Because obviously, casting blunders made him one. And any other move, they would be knight x8, 7 to calculate. Mm -hmm. So it's actually really tricky. I guess knight, uh, knight c6 might be the principal move here. Just putting more pressure in the center. Okay, so let's say it's safe to assume and the is not going to fall from h6, uh, knight e6. Yeah, yeah. So um, Maybe knight f8 as well. Although, knight f8, you're kind of getting in the way of castling. Well, okay, we aren't castling, I guess, since, yeah, that plan was made. Yeah, knight f8 could also be a move. I would probably play knight c6 here. Just bring a another yeah. piece that's not doing anything into the position. Correct. Attack d4. And I, th I don't think white can take on h7 after knight c6. Because g6 maybe? No. Uh, no. Well, I guess we just take on d4. And there is some knight d4 ideas. The queen, the qu so yeah, the queen can't really... We 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 have yeah. to we, we have to remember that white is not really well developed here. Like white also yes. needs some um, yeah some moves. Okay, Anna took on d four. She does it. She picks. And... So I assume yeah. there is a similar idea. So after she takes, it will probably be on s six. Yeah. Now the c file is open as well, and um, maybe rook c eight is. Getting or uh, coming soon. I like knight b4, yeah, true. And the queen has, well, if the knight takes on h7, the queen yeah, has so to this, defend. Exactly, yeah. this is what I was saying. So after knight c6, knight h7, knight b4, the queen has to go queen back to b1. B, b1, yeah. And then queen, queen c7 just wins, I think. Wife has no way to stop knight c2. You have to play like king e1 or something. King, yeah, king, uh, king d1. d1. Yeah. We're really milking the time advantage. Like we're, we're 32 yeah. minutes up. Actually, Anna is basically playing bleeds. She's only used 10 minutes on her clock. Yeah. The French expert is asking a good question here, actually. Why is she thinking? Why, why is she thinking? Uh, maybe knight f7 is a move? I'm not sure. Knight f7 uh, or queen f3? Yeah, but this looks 
be it can't be good like i don't know what's the refutation but i mean that would be a good uh time to use the extra 30 minutes but it, it cannot be good like what has just one piece developed there's no way this works yeah there's no way you can do anything with a sack so yeah why yes probably blood. just take back on default blood tell us tell us more about why you think Kabin yeah it is i guess it took and i mean she took now so now knight c6 instant should be played yeah. otherwise we are, we're a bit in trouble if she doesn't play knight c6 because queen, we... queen f3 is also move queen f3 cannot be met with castles is it too too scary uh, i don't know looks looks scary right I mean, it can probably, but then queen d3, you have to go g6. I guess it's playable, but too many weaknesses for my liking, at least. Mm. I don't think Anna wants to castle that quickly, at least. I think Anna wants to... <laughs> to stabilize first, I think. Yeah, to just develop not some pieces. Has... Yeah, not when why, why would you cast it in the face of a knight on g5 and a queen d3? Exactly. Knight on g5 and h4. Bishop is ready as well. Yeah. See, knight c6 is a very natural move. Like, we would play this instantly in, like, blitz or bullet. Yeah. I guess he's thinking, yeah, after knight c6, queen f3. What does he do? Probably take on g5. Take on g5, but then bishop takes. And yeah, you and just move to c7. Oh, just f6. That's what I was thinking. Ooh, f6 there. Yeah, the problem is d4 is also hanging for you. So you probably have to be it's it's really it's it's really complicated actually. I don't know. Oh. We need to analyze. Okay, you know what? I want I want to see the line. There are some ideas. Ninety five. Yeah, this this is. But I like this for block. This is the style of. Uh, this is in the style of Anamaya. To play like this with the breaks in the center f six e five. Knight c6, knight h7. Uh, well, if knight h7, knight b4 is just waiting for black. Yeah, knight so, b4 is just waiting. Yeah, I see. You queen, told me the lot. Queen has to go to b1, and then either rook c8 or queen c7. Just It is knight c2, and if the knight goes back to g5 in that line, we can take it, and after bishop takes, we can throw. We can take, take the, the rook. I'm not, I'm not sure that's actually possible. Wait, let me check. So I might be speaking a little bit... Uh, to soon. Okay, let's see something like this. Knight g5, bishop g5, bishop g5. Yeah, we can actually take the bishop and take the rook. This isn't too bad. Okay. But yeah, knight c6, knight b4, that is the point. Knight six, knight e two, also possible. Yeah, yeah. I guess we just, I don't know, develop knight. Knight b four could be a threat. Knight b four, c eight, and knight b four. Knight knight b four. Yep. It's a double s position. This is this is uh yeah. Both sides have their their own attacking plans, I guess. Knight c six played. Let's go. Yep. And Ma is not rushing things. She's uh, keeping cool, playing good moves on good time. She's already up. How many minutes? Thirty. Yeah. No. Yeah, we're up a lot of time. Thirty. 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 Wow. Vlad, in no. this game, I think it's mainly been Camille wasting time. <laughs> but true. And Ma is doing like good moves at the right time. I think her. Playing style or whatever is much better than before. We love to see it. 
I mean, see, Anna will have to spend time in next few moves. So yes, correct. Say what named after. I think she she knows by now. Yeah, that she needs some time towards the end. Like last game, she suffered. If yeah. she had a few more minutes at that critical moment of knight b seven, she would win. Yeah, yeah, so that, that was definitely like time pressure. Time pressure, yeah. That one move can make a difference. It's crazy. Just because the king is one step closer to the b-file by taking on f6. Mad how endgames work, man. Okay, um... Have you played her OTB? Me? Yes. No. As in not classical? No, no. She, she refused to play. I don't know. <laughs> Why? I don't what? know. I mean... I, I, we we didn't want to like bother her before like tournaments or something. Usually, uh -huh. I just played some glitch games against Vlad uh, when right. we were both in like Munich and uh, in Romania. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, we le we left her to you know. Oh. So I know she plays Vlad. Vlad. Oh, okay, she she, she played, played Vlad. Vlad. Yeah. I th uh, Vlad, what was the score? I forgot. I remember you guys were on stream. And you guys were playing Blitz. Uh, but I forgot the score. Hmm. Cool. D5. C takes. Knight. B7. I'm sorry, I don't know what line is being talked about by first night. <coughs> um, Pat on YouTube, uh, it's actually not good at all to take on h7 because you see the queen is the only piece that's defending the knight. So after white takes on h7, black can go knight b4 attacking the queen and the queen has to remain on the diagonal to protect the knight. And if it hides all the way to b1, you can prepare something on the c-file, go to knight c2, and yeah, cause a lot of problems there. White may have to give up the knight. It's like a poison pawn. It's like white needs to bring like more pieces into the attack, because right now, yeah, true. She's behind the development actually. So yeah, yeah expect behind. something like expect something like ninety two bishop d two. Bishop like d two. Yeah. Losing by time and by position. Yes. Baby loves trolling me with uh, board rotors. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I managed mean, to rotate the board in the last round. Yeah, break it. I saw it, but sadly the camera was off. Like, if I could right now, I would do it. Oh, look what we have. We have A3 on the board. A3? A3. That it does look strange. Okay, Tell you me prevented, why it's bad. You prevented night before. night before. I guess that was the idea. But uh, you didn't develop a piece. Like, you could have done the same by going bishop d2, which to me seems much more logical. No, uh, bishop d2 and you can... Ooh. Yeah, actually. Yeah, true. Um. So now white... Uh, sorry, black can just play, what, rook c8 and say I have developed another piece? I guess, yeah. Yeah, because I would do that. And then we think later. You know, develop first, think later. It's like uh is that first think later. Uh, I'm first, think I'm later. intrigued here, I, I have the engine on and the engine's first moves eight six. 
So apparently, so apparently we can actually mm. kick the knight now because the suck on e6 doesn't work. Uh, and there is a very specific reason. Which so, is? Which is that after knight e6, f6, queen e6, checking f8, yes. uh, white will try something like knight e2, I guess. There is the move queen e8. Ah, and to create queen. That, yeah, exactly. And white has no time for knight e4 because we trade. And if queen takes on e6, then bishop e4 check wins the, the white queen. But okay, that is that's not gonna happen. I don't think she will play it six. Okay, yet. why did this not work earlier? I'm not sure. <laughs> we probably weren't uh, developed well enough, I guess. Let me play the line now. Ninety six takes queen g. Sixty-six, ninety-six in here, ninety-two, queen e eight, queen takes e. Oh, because now there is bishop takes b bishop before check. Earlier the pawn was on c five. There's no bishop takes before check. Sorry, there's no bishop before check um, earlier. Yeah, I guess yeah. But why didn't it work on move eleven? Is the question. Move eleven. Like move move eleven, eight six. Because I assume 96 wins there for white, right? Let me check here. Oh yeah, it does. It does. It, it works. As in, it works for white. Yeah. So that's the interesting like compar comparison. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess we're just up a tempo because the say three doesn't really help in that variation. Mm -hmm. But okay, I don't think she would play it six unless she really like calculates it out. And... Yeah, it looks scary. Is a reason for it. I'm seeing the move that Anamaya played the other day, B five, as a suggestion by Engine once again. You're trading yeah, the B pawn for the D pawn, right? I also saw that, but, and I thought, yeah, I thought she might do that again. <laughs> but uh, white doesn't have to take on e5. White can just develop. Right. Okay. So, yeah, I'm missing out YouTube chat, man. But yes, Henrik Hansen, you're right. Knight could not take on h7. Right now, actually, Black engine even wants uh, engine even wants black to play h6, kick the knight out. Let's see what Anumaya comes up with. She has a lot of time. Um, what? Twenty nine minutes ahead on the clock right now. Yeah. Let's see what she comes up with. <clears throat> Are you playing any OTB? Me? Yes. Uh, not that I. Well, I'm, I'm in a weekly tournament, that's like every Saturday. Like uh, one classical so game have, every week. Yeah, but actually, I took a buy for this week and probably going to take a buy right. next week as well. Because I have this, this CCL. Oh, she played B5. Wow. Played it. <laughs> yeah. She plays her B5 from the previous game. I guess the idea is that if white does nothing, we go b4. I don't know how that helps, though. But it makes sense to play on the queen side, so I, I like that move. Okay, I mean, white is not developed. Yeah, so usually the rule of thumb is you play your plays in what's in this locked pawn structure, your plays in whatever side your pawn structure points to. So you see our right. most advanced pawn is on. Yeah, on we're making like a ladder 
towards the queen yeah. side, right? So that means your plane yeah. should be on the queen yeah. side as well. Mm. Interesting. B B5 is uh, it's a nice move. So if queen takes, we take on d4, and we're threatening like some things. Yeah, queen takes has to be terrible for white. Yeah. Losing yeah, the central pawn. Is, losing. Yeah. And then e5 is also hanging. And knight c2 is a threat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So white will probably ignore it, and then we go b4. What if b4 by white? Ooh. A5, maybe? A5. That looks very good. Again, white is very underdeveloped, so... True, I think Anamaya can afford B4, A, B5, A5. Yeah, yeah. You're right, actually. The more I look at A5, I like it. So now we have B4, A5, B takes, B4. Oh, okay. I was thinking just take back, but I guess that works too. With, with the rook? The queen. Or, I don't know. Queen, then we have bishop d2, right? Bishop b4. You can't take on b4 because the rook is hanging. Rook is hanging. <laughs> nice. It's it's just, uh, it gets juicy. Uh, yeah. So there is there is this tactic, right? Uh, there's a classic puzzle rush tactic. Which one? Uh, b4, a5. B takes a5, queen takes a5, check. Bishop d2, bishop b4. Uh huh. Bishop takes b4, knight takes b4. And then queen d2, you think you're protecting against everything, but black can play knight but c2, check. Because your queen knight is knight c2, check. Yeah. Yes. And then you take queens and you win the rook, right? Yeah, yeah. So this is nice. A, at least I've had this a lot in Puzzle Press. I don't know. Uh, what? Yo, I don't. Okay, I haven't done that many to be fair. That's a good move, yes. It's like you're uh, discover making a discovered, discovered pin double check attack. Yeah. Fork. <laughs> so, what is the idea of B5? The idea of B5 is to just play B4 mm -hmm. and just uh, open some lines in the queen side, I guess. Yes. Evan NL. You're right. B5 is a creative idea. It's nice. She has uh, used this move earlier. I believe that was in a better position as well. So, Also, another idea of B5 is the B6 square is opened to our pieces. So the knight can go to B6, the queen can also go to B6. So if white plays something, like, something slow like B3, we might consider like queen B6 putting more pressure on. Uh, D4. True. Correct. Um, <clears throat> Animal Charity Channel, YouTube. I would prefer to be black in this position because development. White is really underdeveloped. Even though white, black is not castled, it has pieces out, it has play out. So, yeah. Uh, Unch Plant Records, you're right. She needs to win every game from now, including this one, to get a WGM norm. Which is a very difficult feat, but it's not impossible. So let's see. So <clears throat> we can play on the queen side and we can advance on the queen side as well. But does white have time to attack us on the king side, actually? Bring up I think the knight. That's, bring... I think that's what she will do, right? Try to kind of do something. It's actually going to be a very double-edged game. I don't think we're like better or anything. I think this is very two-sided. Okay. It's a race, basically. It, it's, so, it's, so you're we saying... Have also, this... We have to also be very accurate, which is... It's good that we're that much up on time, because... Up on time, yes. So she can work, work out the differences. Yeah. Good. Um, good like, job. White, White's in. probably going to try and attack somehow. Like, knight e2, knight f4, maybe queen mm -hmm. f3, maybe queen g3, I don't know. 
<clears throat> Again, ninety two is played. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, she needs six point five chat. If she can win this game and every game after this, she will get a WGM normal. Yep, it's really unlikely, but of course we believe. Yeah. So. Uh, Improbable, not impossible. I think the re realistic goal is probably, I don't know, four, four and a half points. That would be very solid, I think. Okay. As long as That's she okay. doesn't. We just take it game by game, you know, just win this exactly. game and next game. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I always say. Just take it one game by game. Um, is she, can she end up higher on Elo? I think she can, right? It's the fourth round, right? Why wouldn't she be able to? Uh, so uh, usually the way you approach this uh, in these close tournaments, you actually know how many points you need to gain rating because the average rating of the opponents is known. From it's before. calculated already. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I believe, well, she's the eighth seed out of ten. So I believe that mm -hmm. four and a half out of nine, she should gain rating. Yes, because she's lower than the half. Like she's yeah. in the bottom half. So, and every every half point above four and a half is plus ten in rating. But so let's say four and a half is like plus five, then five would be plus fifteen, it's six plus would be plus thirty-five. Okay. So yeah. all right, good. It sounds like you two are in the same room. <laughs> Interesting. Wait, what? <laughs> All right. I mean, I suppose the audio quality is better today. I changed nothing, by the way. I'm sitting at the same place, same mic. Maybe she changed something. I don't know. Maybe. Um, welcome to the chat, Perpy Zoo. New at chess. Good to see you here. Um, white may be better because black thinks the French defense is not a good opening. But yes, she did spend a lot more time than she would like to have. Anyway, Anamaya is going with her plan. She pushed b5 to play b4, which she got. So she's yeah. asking some questions on the queen side. Makes sense. And the engine is like, what? I know that f4. <laughs> okay. f4 is very committed, but for white. Engine says f4? Yeah. I mean, well, it I makes sense, right? You want to play f5. Yeah, f5. Knight, knight, knight f4 is also possible. Yeah, I was thinking knight f4, because knight e2, knight f4. And then where do you want to go? h4? Yeah, yeah. Or then push a pawn or something? Yeah, this is really uh, interesting. Actually, wait. Knight, doesn't knight, knight d4... Knight f4 lose a pawn? Oh, on g4, g5? Or is there a tactic? I don't think you can take with the queen there. I mean, it looks shady, but why? What can the knight do? Oh, there is. I mean, there's a discovery of four. Knight is queen g2. This, this is okay. Go. Yeah, queen g2, I was thinking, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this looks interesting. But yeah, f4. f4 I wouldn't, I wouldn't so. go into it as black. Because white is not even forced to, to make a discovery. He can just, C can just go a, b4 or something. I don't know. And so. Uh, white is down a pawn. Yeah, but does the pawn really matter? The h file is open. I mean, your king is in the center. Mm -hmm. It's looking a bit scary. This is, this is going to be going to get very tactical. I feel like, especially if knight f4 is played. Like, knight f4, white might already be looking to sacrifice on e6. Just sacrifice a knight for two pawns and just try to say, you know, your king's in the center and no, I attack. have some attack, yeah. yeah. Mm. So this is going to be very tactical, I think. Mm, hi, Dede. Hi, Black Market. Zyra, welcome to the chat. Yeah, A takes B helps black. That is correct. 
Avon, Evan. Yeah, why well, has to keep playing the king set somehow? I do, I do expect knight f4 here. It's like the logical continuation. But it's it's, logical it's really logical. like a, a a race, you know. True, true. Okay, so either side should... will get two, three we'll moves in a row. Yeah, they would win. They will win. Yes. <clears throat> f4, f5 is very logical too. Correct. You want to attack the pawn chain on e6. Come here down to 35 minutes. I'm surprised. We're only on move 13, move 14. Actually, I think, um, I might be wrong on this, but I was looking a little bit in the previous round. And while Anna was on the on this crazy end game, uh, Camille's game was still kind of in the opening. What? Early middle game, yeah. So I guess she likes taking her time. Well, she was playing against uh, Mathieu Eterno and the... Oh, yeah, yeah, true. She had a difficult also, game. Who is also, uh, he's also like really going into time troubles, it seems. Yeah, we saw the first game. He used yeah. to make moves with five seconds on the clock. Yeah, so Crazy. that game was like, I guess both players really took their time in the opening, so... Right. Um, hmm. Or maybe she's like Grace Shook, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> David, only one. <sighs> it's a sprint. Queen F3? Wait, it's I, think, I mean, the idea we spoke about earlier was Queen F3, we just take on G5. Yeah. I think that's what I'll go to. Especially now that we can put our queen on b6, if, if, if the bishop takes, we have a, a good square for the queen. Because on c7, it, it didn't really do much, but on b6. What does queen do on b6? It attacks d4. So, oh, so we're threatening to take d4, you're right. Yeah, and white has to defend that. Oh yeah, I hate it when I play white and I face the French. And d4 is always like hanging, and I keep need to support d4. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't like it. I mean, you can sacrifice it at some lines. So there is, yes. there is, there are some tricky lines uh, where you you give away the d4 pawn, but it kind of blocks black black's defenses, and you're black's the, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen those. <clears throat> I mean, the way to beat the French is to attack on the king side. Like, that. Yes, I know. That looks like, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've uh, been there, done that. Um, also, Gino, Gijo, Gigo, thanks. We did nothing, by the way. I guess it's just a good day. <laughs> French expert, I think. Humanly looking at the position, black is already a bit better. No decisive advantage, but a bit better anyway. Optically, that is. I would more say it's. I would prefer black chances because of the time advantage. Like the position, oh, okay. I think, is very random. Like anything can happen. But okay, we know that black is a better player, and we know that black is forty yes. minutes up. So yes, so that black. really, really puts uh, the game in black's favor. That's right. But this position between two equally rated players, I would expect balanced results. Like, why would win some, black would win some? <clears throat> All right, chat, it's time. Body language read. Who's uh, looking more confident? What do you think they're thinking? Give me your thoughts. First night, Black's plan is to pose threats on the queen side. Develop the rook, put it on the c-file, maybe okay, so, if possible. Yeah. yeah, he's saying it like f4, f5, which is good, but 
Do you have time to do that? I don't know. F4, I take on A3. You have to take back, right? You take back with the pawn, yes. Yeah, and then I go like queen a5 check. Do you want to move the king? I don't know. Maybe, maybe, but... So... I guess bishop d2, bishop we still d4. We still have again. bishop d2, bishop b4 idea. Yeah. Interesting. And you don't have much time for f5, I think. Like, by the time you play f5, I will... I will be on time to... To do. Maybe there are even some tactics with knight takes e5. Knight takes e5, wow. Well, the engine told me that. I, I didn't find it. But oh. there is a line uh, f4, b takes a3, b takes a3. And then queen a5 check, bishop d2, bishop b4, f5, and then knight, either knight takes on e5 is good for black, apparently. Why? Because you're Don't attacking the queen? Yeah, and if if white takes, we take again, and then the queen moves, we take on d2, queen takes on d2, knight to d3, check, king b1, knight f2, check, picks up the rook on h1. Okay, this is oh a crazy engine. God, that's crazy, no. I but saw it, it, is but that's crazy. It, it is findable, I think, for black. Like, if <laughs> if they get to this position, it's, it's kind of forced move, so she, she can definitely... Calculate this, I think, and yeah, hmm. which is why I said like this. This is about to get very heated up. About to get heated and, soon, yeah. I can tell. And nice. I I would rather be the side with the more time. More time. More time. Yeah. So. Um. Yes, French expert. I agree with you. Also, hi, Strifus. Strifus. I don't know how to say it actually. Yo, I've only typed it. I've never said it out loud. How do we read your name? Strifus? I think it's Strifus. Yeah, I would say Strifus. Yeah. Strifus. Got it. Thanks, French expert. Good input. <laughs> If A takes B5, sorry, A takes B4, what do we take yeah. back with? Knight, I guess. Just to gain tempo? Yeah. And maybe threaten... I mean, the knight is knight good before. You, you can't attack my knight there. You can't attack it, yeah, I, I realize. All right. Hi, my boy. Welcome to the chat. I didn't know. Yeah, I, I saw that Jesse went live. But I didn't know Screws was commentating. He didn't tell anyone. Ooh. Nice, nice. But also we have uh, AgJet with me here. He's carrying the chess on this commentary. Like we're used to for the last two weeks. Okay. Bishop d2 has been played. Really? Okay. Yeah, that doesn't strike me as a very good move. The computer doesn't hate it, but okay. okay now, we cannot afford to leave the pawn on b5, right? I would just take the pawn. Can. I mean, yeah. why not? Just open We can file. take... Yeah, just take yeah, it like just rook c8, take and knight and b, takes her. Whatever. I mean, there, there's there's many plans that uh, that black can can do. Uh, one of them is like knight b6, knight c4 to attack the bishop on d2, since white played bishop d2. What's am screws? Anomaya. Hey, um, welcome to this YouTube chat. Aware Eagle, I hope that's who you are. Um, she's doing well. She's up on the clock by a lot, as you can see, which is quite rare in Anamaya's games. 
We are hoping she gets a first win in this tournament today. And yeah, the position's pretty okay. Like the evil bar thinks it's pretty balanced. Engine thinks it's equal so far. But black is doing well. The game could get sharp soon. So we're confident in Anamaya's chances because she has the time advantage. And Yismail says h6 is important. Yes, it is. Engine wanted it. But currently, I think taking on a3 has to happen first. h6. Why? I, but and probably that message was sent to you. h6 now doesn't work again. Yeah, not now. It was Sorry. probably sent earlier. Again, because the knight is already on e2, so it goes to f4 run temporarily. So you're lost there. But black can just keep playing on the queen side. Like knight b6, rook b8, b takes a3, queen b6, all of them are good moves. And bishop d2 is kind of the move that. You know, white is not committing to yeah, a race, to, to the op kind of okay. It's not opposite castle because both kings are in the center, but to this yeah. race where you go king side, I go queen side. White wants to play a bit safe, and this is uh, psychologically is good for us because Anna really likes to attack, so she it's better for her if the opponent defends than to counterattack. Then she would have to defend. Don't know if that made much sense, but yeah. <laughs> David, you have a problem. <laughs> it's, yes, quite a, uh, it's quite a difference from like morning's game the opponent is just sitting on the board calculating <laughs> not leaving it at all man she was I'm... leaving his he was going to the washroom i think 20 30 times in the game more and anna did say later that he was okay like off out of after the game he was fine i think it was stress it really stressed. got to him. He was too stressed. Especially because I think he lost the first two games as well. And he was yeah. like, he didn't want to lose again. Anyway, um, good game. Good result. Yes, French expert, you're right. He has the time to figure it out as well. Opponent already below 30 minutes. Love to see it. Queen b6 is a move, you're right. We could also take on a3 and then throw queen b6 later at some point. But maybe um, develop the rook. And knight can go to b6 and c4. That's a very nice square for the knight as well. The knight that's on d7 it can go to c4. B rook b8 is a move actually, Orion, but I don't think it's necessary right now. It it's really, really depends right which file you want to put the rook on. I know normally they go to c8 because you normally don't have c and b files both open, not not as often as uh, this. 
aerobic mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Let's see. Especially because the if you're gonna put a knight on c4, the c file won't be fully open. So it makes yeah. more sense to have the rook on b8. Also, you might be looking at the b2 square with a knight on c4, rook on b8. So yeah, rook b8 is definitely a good move. See, actually, well, my first reaction to this position was I want to take on a3 to just open the, the b file as well. But on second thought, you know, if you play something else, you play something like rook b8 or knight b6, mm-hmm. you keep your opponent, you, you know, your opponent has one more decision to make, like do I take on b4 or not? And this, you know, needs to, leads to burning extra Fine. time since you might get the time travel is right. Interesting. You're right. I don't know. Uh, there was some. Um, I don't know where have I heard this, but there was some uh, some GM who said that in when your opponent is in time trouble, you should give him like a lot of decisions to make. So you shouldn't mm. play forced forced moves because more easy moves. Yeah. Yeah. Because don't you know, easy fully have calculated them. Yeah. So for instance, here B, B takes a three. Okay, White will. Respond automatically, B takes it free. Gain that 30 yeah. seconds on increments. Okay, here, okay. So it's not in time trouble per se. Yeah. Yeah, so it's 27 minutes. Yeah, I see. But in general, yeah, the more decisions your opponent uh, has, to, has make. to make, the more time. And especially because there is no time control that we're reaching towards, it yeah. makes even more sense in this game. <clears throat> For those who don't know, chat, uh, this game has no added extra time after move 40. This is all the time they will have with only 30 seconds increment. All right, random guy who spams hearts. Nice to see you back in the chat again. I don't know who you are, but keep doing what you're doing. First night, you're absolutely right. Yeah, Orion, as we were discussing earlier, Queen F3 is a move, but because there's pressure on F7 and E6 by that knight, I think we can just snap the knight off. Take it with the bishop, and there's no real threat on our king in the next one or two moves, so I think that's okay for us. Classical chess can make you do things. The clock is a weird, weird concept. Sometimes you can play one move in 40 minutes. Sometimes you can play, what, 40 moves in 10 minutes. Yeah, that's true. And never get it when you're 30 minutes out of the clock and agree to play a blitz game with your opponent. I mean, it's always tough to like find the balance between pressuring your opponent on time and, and playing the best moves. Playing, playing good moves, yeah. Because playing good moves, yeah. Will you be here for some more time, or did you have to leave? Uh, I guess I'll have to leave in forty-five minutes or so. Oh, okay, that's good because. I wanted to go do some things, and I'm thinking I'd rather do it now rather than later, <laughs> because sure. uh, the game should get spicy later, right? Sure, yeah. Okay. I mean, I won't be, I won't be like 
leaving forever, I just have to go shopping because the supermarkets are closed. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Go. I mean, hopefully, I know Maya will win before you're back. But if you're back, then uh, sure, we can join. But for now, I think I will be taking a little break and I'll be back um, maybe within 10, 15 minutes. Okay, sure. Okay, see ya. Okay, chat. So you're stuck with me for a little bit. How about castling? Uh, castling now, Blender's maybe one, right? Ma Matthew, are you trolling? We can't castle. And also, even if you didn't blunder, we probably wouldn't want to castle anyway. For the, for the time being, we probably could castle if we take the knight and then the opponent takes with the bishop and we move the queen, and at some point we could castle, but she would probably take with a pawn. And again, casting a blunder mage. Oh, you're just you're just testing if I'm awake. I see. Yeah, Anna's considering her options. I like knight b six here. Knight b six, rook b eight. Just some uh, some look like that. B takes it three also fun. I never played in a villa. I'm pretty sure villa means village in Spanish. I guess Bugs can confirm, but I think Villa de Zahara means the village of Zahara. Maybe it's, maybe that's wrong there. So it's, it doesn't mean like Villa, like a large house. See you, Mafia. Take care. Rook B8 is my first thought. I would take, yeah, all these moves are good. Just, I think Anna is uh, spending a bit of time to figure out, like, what's the difference between this move. So it looks ready to make moves. It looks like we will have a move soon, I think. Eight six is not a good move. Eight six white will sacrifice the knight on e six, and after f takes a six, queen g six, check king f eight, and something like rook h three, we're getting crushed. Okay, so Anna has played queen queen to b six. Going to b6. Okay, sorry for that. Uh, so putting some more pressure on d4, probably discouraging the idea of knight f4. Maybe she was a bit scared about knight f4, knight xd6. So, yeah. So 
So now the knight cannot leave uh, protection of the pawn. And another idea is that it's also putting the queen on the b6 g1 diagonal. So if white castles and later plays f4, there might be some... C will not be able to play f5 because there will be tactics on e5 perhaps. Also, yeah, it's a typical it's a typical French defense move. Uh, queen does often go to b6. Now, she could have gone with a knight to b6, just go to the knight on c4 and then play the queen to b6, but that is also fine, I guess. And it's also like a non-committal move, kind of passing the ball to white. You know, white... White has to make a decision how to continue. It's okay, the knight on g5 looks nice, but you can never really take on h7 because the counterplay is just too much. In fact, if you if white takes on h7 now, uh I guess we would take on a3 first and then take on d4 with the knight. And in case there is a trade of pieces, queen takes d4, queen takes d4, knight takes d4, rook takes h7, in the end, regains the, the pawn. And the pawn on e5 is very weak in the resulting position. Yes, Anna did draw this morning. It was a crazy game. If you... Uh, if you want after this game, maybe you can check the yeah, the vote from the morning game. It's really, really heated, I would say. Some uh, some crazy moves. Uh, that time is accurate. Yes, we are thirty two minutes up on the clock, and that is why I like that Anna is keeping the position complicated. Like white has a lot of moves to choose from here. Um, and C is C is going lower and lower on time. I mean we're we're only in move 15 and white is already down to 24 minutes. So that means that C will have to to play most of the game on very low time. So she won't have enough time for critical decisions later, which is really important. Does White know it's her move? <laughs> I'm sure she does, yeah. And she is playing, okay. She is, wait, she took? She took on 8-7. Guys, she took the pawn on 8-7. And this is really good for us, I think. Uh, yeah, knight x8-7 is a mistake. It's not really a blunder, but now black has so this is the now the point of the move queen b6 is revealed. Black can actually take on d4 here. Either first take on a3 and then take on d4 or take on d4 immediately. And the queen is overloaded. The queen is defending both the knight on h7 and the pawn on d4. So you can't defend both. Yeah, we can also. So I guess the idea is that after knight d4, knight d4, there is knight e5. So this is actually a peace sacrifice, and then and then the queen is truly overloaded. Can't protect both uh, both d4 and h7. It's actually really nice. Well, it's. It is kind of a weird move. I'm not sure why she did that. Maybe she miscalculated something. I mean, okay, if she takes on h7 and is able to go back, then she's just a pawn. So it makes sense. But the the thing is that taking on d4 is a is a thing. And even and then taking on e5. So as Andre is saying, black wins a pawn. 
Because black takes on d4 and then takes on e5. And then by the time black wins back the knights, she will be up a pawn. You free the rook. And the, the point is not about freeing the rook. Like, the rook is not going anywhere anyway. The point is the, the central pressure on d4. Like, if, if black played here something random, like rook b8, uh, and the knight could return to g5, then white would be better. But Anna has seen better, and she takes, she takes on d4. Uh, so that is a good move. Black is now better. Uh, also, we are trading the h7 pawn for a central pawn. The central pawn is way more important. And the reason also is that the e5 pawn is now going to be very weak. So this is already really good for us. Knight takes d4 is a great move. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what Cesar Com is, is thinking, but Knight takes d4 is definitely a great move. I guess b takes a3 first was a bit more accurate, but black black is still black is still quite a lot better after Knight takes d4. So I wouldn't call it an error. It's it's a really good move, and I want to see I want to see the face expressions here. She is. She probably missed the fact that Black could take on d4. She probably thought, you know what? I can take on d4 now with a knight, and I'm fine. But after knight takes d4, knight takes on e5, and the queen is attacked. The queen cannot keep both d4 and h7 protected. So, yeah, that is. Um. That is a really good development for us. Queen takes d4 is a bad eagle, but after queen takes d4, okay, there will be an endgame, and the pawn on e5 is really weak. I don't know why the computer says that's equal. Okay, guess why it takes on b4 in the end? But okay, we have two central pawns. This should be... This should just be good for black. Okay, I'm not saying that black is winning, but definitely... Black is the one pressing for an advantage. I will, Vlad. Thank you for the information. I will when he comes back. Because a7 is weak too. Yeah, that's probably why Anna should have taken an a3 first. But it's hard to... It's hard, you know, to refuse the urge to play knight x 4 and show your opponent, you know, you, you blundered, you miscalculated. So she might not have considered b takes a3 first, which was a little bit more accurate because that, as first knight is saying, that keeps the a file closed. Now white might take on b4 after the trades and put some pressure on her pawn. But yeah, knight, knight takes uh, d4 is definitely good, so... Yeah, and white is down to 21 minutes. He might even, you know, try to go for more complications, and complications will definitely favor black here. Like black is has the the knights ready to go in the center. Um, white just tried to go for pawn grabbing with really bad development. That is never good in chess. Like modern engines have so that you can't you can't do that, basically. Like black always or the, the other side always has more than enough compensation. And I think by now it's clear that uh, Camille had missed uh knight x d4. I I guess she thought that she thought that she can take the pawn and just return and just be a pawn up. But that that's not true. She probably missed some something. I don't know what she missed, but she probably missed something. Maybe she thought she can play like bishop e three here or something. But in in this case, the knight again, the knight will take on e five, and uh, it's the same issue as before. The the queen has to keep the defense of h seven. Like this knight on h seven is 
It's very weakly defended. It's only defended by this overloaded queen on d3. So, yeah. <clears throat> uh, no, resonance is not in common. Like, white still is in the game here. It, it's, it's not certain that Anamaya will win, but we definitely like her chances. Especially as uh, Camille is now only in 19 minutes. Uh, Leon Rahimi, what was the best move in the position? Yes, the best move in the position was B takes A3 uh, instead of knight D4 because that keeps the A file closed for the future and the B file open. Okay. Camille has taken on d4 with a knight, which gives us, uh, surprisingly, this gives us another chance. The position is very complicated, by the way. It's, uh, yeah. This gives us another chance to take on a3. Apparently, b takes a3 is, again, the best move of the engine, but obviously, I don't think that will be played. I think, I think Anna will take knight takes on e5. That is my guess. And then there is some, some crazy line with queen b5 check, the queens get traded, then there is rook b8, and basically both knights are attacked. So black is going to, one way or another, win back one of the knights. So Anna has taken on e5, as expected. Um, and this wins, wins also the other center pole. So we will be up a pawn. Queen b5 check now is forced. Every other move is leading to a winning advantage for black. So white has to trade queens, but I'm assuming that that was her idea anyway. Camille is away from the board. Uh, I'm sure she has calculated at least queen b5 check. Maybe she missed the fact that there is rook b8. It's possible that she missed in this line that uh, that black attacks that black attacks both knights Vlad says I'm running Stockfist as high depth. Okay Vlad. What does it tell you? I assume black is just a pawn up. Yeah, B takes A3 was more precise, exactly. But as I said, it's it's hard to not get excited about the fact that you're capturing on D4. I'm sure that if if this was presented to Anna like as a comparison exercise, it's obvious that the position without the B-bones is preferable to the positions we have now, because the B-file is open and the A-file is closed. So, and that only benefits the black queen, basically. But, yeah, the, what she did is also perfectly fine. Okay, Camille is now back on the board. Um, White has to play queen B5 check. Here, she has to find that move, but it's it's pretty much the only move because okay that was her plan. She wants to keep the knights alive for. Uh, hello, I'm back. Hi, hello, blue boy. You've missed a lot of action. I want to or say. Is action gone? I'm here. Hello. Oh. Hi, hi. Sorry, I hear you now. I was saying you missed a lot of action. Oh, sh sorry. I my audio was muted or something. What did I miss? Okay, let me take a look. Whoa. What? Oh. Oh, knight e5. I don't remember at what point you left, but yeah. Knight x7 was played, which was a really... Yeah. Was it, was it uh, good? Wait, let me check. I think the sevens were really bad. But then I suppose she didn't... What was she supposed to do? She take a3 first, but why? Yeah, but what she did is also fine. Like, she took on d4, and now we're basically up a pawn. I guess. After we win back the knight. One of the knights. So if knight takes d4... Okay. 
We are not going to be able to... Oh, did I miss something? Is in the rook b8 line? Wait, knight a6 sack, the sack the knight sack. for two pawns? Yeah, we sacked a piece. We have taken two, bond, two pawns back, but we are winning a piece back. Because black Because cannot... the queen cannot defend both knights. Yeah, exactly. The queen is overloaded. So white is forced to play queen b5 check, trading queens. Yeah. And then we we trade, we play rook b8, so both knights are still attacked. And then, yeah, when we have to get the knight back after that, nice. Yeah, white plays, so the line continues, white plays knight c7 check, we play king d7. White plays knight a6, attacking our rook again. We play rook b6, attacking the knight again. And in that line, white has the move a takes b4, which defends the knight with the rook on a1 and ensures that the material is still oh equal. God. Rook takes That's why a takes b, b takes a3. Yes, exactly. What? But in the resulting position, black is still a lot better. Like, we have mm. central pawns that are very strong. White pawns on b2 and b4 are both weak. And black has all the, all the uh, chances wow. to play for I mean, win okay. the position. Yeah, practically, humanly, I think this is very good looking for Black right now. And Maya has yeah. spent her time well. And she's still yeah, up yeah. on the clock by, what, 40 minutes? Is that right? Am I looking at it right? Yes. Oh, no, right. Camille. Oh, poor Camille. So I just think H5 with a quality. I don't think that's equal. I mean, I think Black is just better. I don't know, nice C6. White would have to be extremely accurate to, to hold this endgame, I think. Maybe the computer gives it as equal, but humanly, uh, humanly speaking, Black is on the verge of winning, I would say. Especially with, it, with this time difference. Uh -huh. Okay, I see. I see. Um... And it, need some other. So it's like she hasn't even played Queen B5 check yet. So she might be yep. kind of considering something else. I don't know. Minutes. Oh, hey, Vlad. I just see your message. Is Camille really friends with Maria? Like in real life? <laughs> Yeah, Vlad told me to tell you that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I just saw it. I'm just I just scrolled up now. But you're still rooting for Anna, right? I am currently rooting for Anna. That is that is right, yes. Okay. Does Maria have a picture of you, by the way? Yes, it's on my phone. <laughs> Is it on her phone as well? I don't know. Mm. Probably. Mm. Okay, oh, Tom, no. you know who we can blackmail now? Oh no. Get Lubo's picture. It's not it's not it's not necessary, it's not important chat. Never mind. Let me actually tell her now. Maybe I'll tell her to visit the stream if she's free. Okay. And this is here in lurking. Ooh. I love you now. Camille de Seru. But I think Camille just got out calculated in this game. I suppose so as well. Like, she probably missed some in between move. I don't know. Anna seems really like uh, confident, almost bored. I would say, but okay, mm -hmm. obviously you can't be bored. Right? You're about to win a game. Okay, can be five check played. Okay, good. So that forces the queen trade, and we're going to be clearly up material. Probably okay, not. Maybe. Pro probably not. But we're going to be in a better end game, basically. 
Queen <clears throat> takes, knight takes. Now rook b8 is the only move, but it's very obvious. Attack the knight. Hi Nordi, nice to see you. Queen has been traded. Knight has taken on b5. She must have seen this line. I mean, even rook if she didn't, rook he's played. Rook eight, yeah. Yeah. She played with yeah. b8, the tempo line. So now more force moves. Knight c7 is forced. Otherwise, black is just a pawn up. You can't take on a7, right? <laughs> Ooh. It's actually a good question, mm. but I think no, because the knight will never make it out. Yeah, I think so too. The escape squares are taken. That, that actually might happen, though. You so mean, might uh, take an a7. Yes, yeah, so you might take an a7. B7, right? I mean, after knight takes a7, I just take the knight. Yeah, of course. And then... Okay, may maybe this will happen, actually. Because, okay, white has a4. And then I doesn't get out. What? But, uh, but I guess black is just better. Wait, did white play something? No, she didn't play it. No, no, no. Okay. But taking a7 could happen. Taking a7 is really bad according to the engine. But, uh, I mean, okay, she took one edge spawn with the knight, so maybe she'd take the other, you know? But it looks really weird, like, the knight is has to lose some tempi to get back to the game, then there is some knight d3 check ideas for black. But, but here, yeah, it's not guaranteed that, that white uh, finds the best line. And even if exactly. she does, she, she has to spend even more time. More so time, the, and she's going to 10 minutes, below 10 minutes now. Yeah. So this nice. practically is, practically is almost, Very good for I, would say, I would say almost winning for Black. Especially with this time difference. With this time but difference. Oh my I don't, I don't, I don't want to jinx it. So yeah, I, would, no, I would say no, it's just not. better. I would say it's just better for Black. Okay. I like how both kings are in the central starting squares. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like they're doing a challenge. Yeah. Win without Who can move king. first? Or, uh, yeah. Whoever well, moves guess, first loses. After nice seven check, unfortunately, we have to move the king. Oh. So we will lose the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> we lose the challenge. Oh, no. Right, why can't play other moves as well? Why can't play like a4 here? Could see that happening. A4 is a move, that's correct. What do we want to do? Um, take the knight, right? On h7? Yeah. Obviously, we want to take the knight. And then I guess white will to take a7 in order to keep the material balance, because otherwise... And then, just no, but then we have knight d3. Yeah, knight d3 is a, it's a big threat. Because our knight can take the pawn, come back to c4, and we're yep. chilling. Yep. Nice. Yes. Bishop f4. <laughs> oh, a horse, horse, God. Bishop f4 is, it would actually be decent if not for knight d3 check. Which knight d3 that. check for winning the bishop, yeah. yeah. Uh, Many, I'm not sure actually. Okay, knight c7 played. King d7 only move. Not only move, but... I mean, Good. it makes more sense than King d8. It makes actually. more sense, yeah. And after this knight, a6 is forced, right? Yeah. Or do you think we will see uh, rook b6? Yeah, all these moves are forced, I think, after that. Mm -hmm. It would be really weird. Maybe, maybe she can take on b4 first, and allow black to take on c7, and then rook takes a7 check. 
But, but that, that's also nine, I guess. Then our knight in eight seven is finding it though. So it's strange. Oh, rook a seven, and then the knight escapes. Yeah, yeah. Black is still better, of course, but that's also a lie. So Camille is finding the right line. Like it's still yeah. okay by the engine, but chat, look at her time. Yep. And this is also a difficult position to play. Like the pawns are coming slowly but surely. <laughs> The d5 pawn is already passed. Hmm. King d7 plate. Mm -hmm. uh, is there honestly chances for white to still win? Uh, very unlikely, I would say. I guess White's best hope would be a draw here. But I can never say never. I mean, we, we might blunder. But especially being 45 minutes down, <laughs> it's very unlikely. Seven minutes. And see, oh wow, Ooh, she so sacrifices the piece. So it took on d5. Yeah. Okay, optically that makes sense because you're getting rid of the the strong, you know, the, one structure. One structure. But and the difference the... is, yeah. The difference yeah, is that I mean, you're, you're giving, the pawn. You're giving mm -hmm. an extra tempo. The difference is that you're giving an extra tempo to, to black. So black will take the knight, surely. Uh, and I will take Which the knight in the center. In they, the center, okay. Yeah. And then white has to waste another move to get the knight on h7 to safety. So white has to play knight g5. I think that's the only yes. thing there. And mm -hmm. we, have an, we have an extra move, which we can use to take on a 3 Knight b3. Oh, a3. Okay. BA3, yeah. You want to play knight b3 and fork? Knight d3. Mm, but and white is also threatening F but white's also threatening F seven though. So I don't know. Oh. Mm. That'd be a trade. But B A three is really good, I think. And then we can you know the pawn on A three is weak, we can play like knight C four. Can play F seven, we can play F six. Okay, e takes d5 has been played, so we, we will see that on the board. Uh, what I'm talking about. Yeah, f6, you can play, yeah, exactly. Knight c4. So, okay, knight c5 has been played. Knight g5 played, okay. Do we kick it back? With f6? Uh, F6 is definitely a move. Mm. 
BRB in two minutes. <laughs> sure. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. A bit. Um... All right, chat. So we're finally looking good. The looking good on winning by time and by position. Yes. <clears throat> Box, it's crazy. Like she has like more than seven times her time. Okay, right now, the engine says Anna needs to take the pawn on a seven, a three. Sorry, and White has to take back on a three. And after that, we can push or we can attack something else, bring out another piece. We're good. Yes, box. Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three. Quick maps. Ooh, we can win a lot of pawns, actually. Well, what about F6? Sorry for that. I just, I just got to have like all this time that I've, I've been commentating. I've gotten like four advertisement calls. Like it's crazy. <laughs> All right. I'm not interested in your like new phone oh. contract or anything. Can I uh, can I read you some more of my SMSs that I got? <laughs> <laughs> All right, chat. Get this. Today I get an SMS from a random number. It says, "Urgent. Your package has been suspended. Kindly update the required details to avoid delays." Now get the website. It's us us post office dot x y z. <laughs> totally legit website, yeah. Like so legit, right? And not even Oz Post. Like Oz Post is official, but they have Oz Oz Post. Like they're not, they're not trying, man. You gotta try harder. Uh, another one. Have you seen? Question mark. You are the winner of the month. Uh, go to this es something something dot com slash zt. Oh my god! Like, try harder, man. Another one. Thank you for joining. Your number is eligible for our premium bonus. Click on this link. Mm, I think that's all I have for now. <laughs> okay, so yeah. Okay, so 2.8. Well, it's the best move. She takes. Okay, best move. Best move in the house. She's out here to win, man. Let's go. I think this should be winning. Like, okay, it's not... We, we can hope for it now, yes. We're not up material, but... First of all, our the only central pawn on the board is also our strength, like a past pawn. But also protecting our king. So we could even try and make some kind of ideas against white king. Now. I see, like, a rook landing on the e-file, knight going to d3. There is uh, there's a lot of opportunities. Maybe right. we're going to b3. The a3 pawn is very weak in particular. A3 pawn is very weak, that is correct. And of course, the huge time advantage uh, continues. Oh, yeah. She had seven times her time. Now she has eight times her time. <laughs> okay, she does take. Yes, time. NTT. Welcome to the chat, and I hope this will be a win. Uh, all right, Vlad. See ya. Good luck, Vlad, and I'll told. Good annual charity channel. Keep it up. Oh, now interesting. Really? I didn't know. What? No, no, nothing. Now, what are we doing? Attacking the A3 pawn? Okay, now we need to find a good plan. Now the, the smoke has cleared. 
Now is Materialist when she needs to take her time. Yeah, material is equal, right? Am I counting correct? Yes. I am, I think. Material is equal, yes. But our pieces are much better, basically. That is our claim, at least. So, to, to find a precise move, yes. Now, why is not reading the pawn f7, as I thought, because the knight is defending. I just saw that, by the way. <laughs> so, what did you say, which move? I said, I, all, all this time I was thinking why is threatening the f7 form, but the knight oh, is yeah, defending. Oh yeah, it's not, actually. I, I, I was looking at another another line, I thought, we can play f6, get the knight away, uh, knight has only one square, it goes to f3, we trade, and you get double pawns on the f-file, and then rook and bishop are attacking h4. I completely missed that we have a pawn on f6. <laughs> oh, you thought we could take, yeah. Okay. I thought we could take, yeah, but... Blind. Um, <clears throat> okay, question. Line, we can actually win a pawn, I think. I play rook you mean three. rook b3? Yeah, how does rook defend? Rook b3, a4. a4. Can we just take an f3? He did land or something. Oh, f3. Oh, no, that, okay, you mean after trading? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, that, I guess, that, I guess, I guess we point. can win a pawn in here. Because White's position is too loose, but we have to win it in a way that's convincing. Like, yes, keeping yes. our pieces in good positions. And, and all. Yes, right now, I think even if Anma is dead exhausted, I feel like this will be a blessing to play. She has so much time, figure out the way to win. I think both players know that Black is much better. Yeah, yeah. I think Camille is glad that at least she survived. You know, she's not losing yeah. a piece or anything. But yeah. unfortunately for her, position is still bad. Like her pieces are, her yeah, rooks are yeah. on their starting squares. The king is on the starting square. The pawns mm. are weak. Black has a really strong pawn on d5. Yep. And uh, yeah. She had a good yeah, day yeah. yesterday. But Camille, sadly yes. not. Yeah. 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 I blinks root b2 says uh, al 87 root b2 it's not a bad move could be played yeah just activating the rook i guess so the question is why not on b3 where it attacks the pawn if you are going to play so, rook actually if rook b3 and let's say uh let's say something like i don't know the, uh, Okay, I'm trying to think of a good move here. Let's say bishop e3. Okay, rook b3, bishop e3. What do yep. you take with? I guess the rook. Although that hangs the a7 pawn. Wait, bishop b3 yes. loses though. Bishop b3, I take on e3 with a rook. And then I take on g5 and your pawn is pinned. You can't take back. Oh, because the bishop defends the knight. You're right. Yeah. Okay, let's say not bishop there, maybe bishop somewhere else. I just wanted to know which one do we take. Yeah, let's, let's say like king e2, right? Something. Okay, yeah, king e2. Yeah. I mean, I, no, I'm not really sure if we are taking the pawn. Because, you know, there is... Taking the pawn opens the A-file for white. Like, white could take, mm. if we take the rook, we could take and go rook A1 again, and bishop mm -hmm. E3, and put some pressure. So maybe the, the right idea is to increase the pressure, just something like knight C4. Uh, okay. Bishop C5, yeah, th this is, yeah, F6, I don't know. It's but like, if, it's I, if, I were, if I were to take, I would probably take with a bishop, to be honest. Because you can play bishop c5? Because I don't really want to, you know, to give the opportunity to white to trade rooks and open the file and pressure okay. my pawn on a7. So I try to play bishop a3, and if possible, I would try to play 
some kind of knight c4, a5, and bring the bishop back to b4. Something like that, maybe. But yeah, this is a position where Anna, Anna can spend her time. Yeah, she can about. spend a lot of time. She can That's actually take a walk right now. Yeah, that would hey, be is it, rude? is it rude? Uh, yeah, it is a bit rude. I mean, <laughs> what would be the I don't know. I mean, No one I... does this. I guess. Really? Nobody? Is there no player who does this? Come on, there has to be somebody. To so take a walk while they're thinking? To take a walk while you're on your time, yes. Well, if you go like far away from the board, it can also be suspicious. Like the opponent maybe, might go okay. Maybe Okay, yeah, maybe not that there. far away, but I'm just walking but, around on the same place. You know what? I think... Ooh, actually, you know what? Now I'm going to try this. Next time I play... If I'm in completely winning position, I have uh, time on the clock. I'll take a walk. Well, why would you do that? Like, there is no just like, just, like just intrusive thoughts. Just to troll the opponent. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like I'll tell them. I mean, they'll think I'm going to the washroom, but I won't even go to the washroom. I'll just take a look at other boards and come back. <laughs> All right. I'll I'll keep you guys updated. Chat. If I ever manage to do this, I'll let you know. But if I lose the game, I won't let you know. <laughs> anonymous, um, anonymous, on YouTube is saying, Anna overanalyzes the board. Just either take the knight or kick it, then play in as if four or check. What? Okay. I think okay. he means knight d3. I have to, but... I have to, to see what all this means. Mean. Uh, so taking the knight, let's start with that. That is an option. But I don't think it's very good. Because why are we trading pieces? Our bishop is quite good, in fact, on a7, pressuring the a3 pawn. So taking the knight. Yes. Definitely, uh, I mean, black has like 20 moves that are lead to a better position. It's, not, it's about fighting, finding a good plan. Uh, kick it, f6, that's definitely a good move. Definitely a good plan, especially because white uh, has to go back to f3, and then we can take and inflict double pawns. And the other move mentioned is knight d3 check, I believe. Which I don't like too much. Knight d3, I think, just helps white. A king will go to e2, the rooks are connected, and our knight has to move again, so don't see the points. What does the engine think about bishop takes a3? Oh, you mean immediately? That's actually, that's actually a, that is a possible oh, move. Because we can threaten the check. Yep. Nice. I didn't see that at all. Well, the engine thinks it's decent, like it's still better. Actually, white's move is to take the bishop. Uh, then we give a check, we take the rook. White takes on a7. Takes on a7, yeah. And takes We have to go to d6. Oh, if we go right. d6, then we lose the. No, we don't lose anything. You have to go to c6. You have to go to c6 to keep out of the pin. There's bishop f4. Yeah, ex yeah, exactly. So. We don't want to go to a dark screen. And it's an endgame where we are up an exchange. This might be holdable for white, though. We're up the exchange, possibly for one pawn, because white will take on g7. That, that looks interesting, but we're trading too many pawns, I feel like. That this might be mm. hard to, to push for a win. But maybe she's thinking about bishop takes a3. It's, it's possible, Probably, because yeah. you know, you're, you're trained to think about checks, captures, and threats. So bishop takes a3 is a capture, so it's pretty high in the priority list of which moves to, to calculate. No, short castle is better. Yeah, white can still castle. <laughs> that is also... White can still castle, but doesn't that hang the pawn? I mean, if you castle, then I'd probably go rook b3. That transposes to the previous position. Wouldn't you take on h4? I mean, my bishop's hanging. I meant after bishop takes a3, white can castle. Oh, right. 
But you're correct. White, yeah, if white castles, like we play something else in white castles, then we can take an inch fold, which is probably why, why white will not castle. Okay, she plays so, rook b2. Yeah, and rook b2. Very logical move. Very logical move. Putting the rook on the second. And she plays box move. Yes. So, and possibly planning some pressure against f2, I guess. You mean so, with knight d3? Yeah, I mean. Or knight g4. Black might be threatening here. Knight d3, check. King d2, knight takes oh. f2. Winning a pawn. Oh, winning a pawn. Yep. Okay, okay. So this is a nice move. And it also puts pressure on white, because, again, white has six minutes or so. So... Rook h3 played instantly. That is a good move. It okay, can we not three. go... Okay, how about f6 now? f6 and the third rank has to be blocked, right? Oh, but there is bishop to c3. Ooh. Right, yeah. But, yeah. oh, I didn't say that, actually. Okay. There is bishop c3. Ooh. Do we have... I mean, black is still better. There is, there is no... Because I, we, we go rook b3 and we attack the pawn. We are fine. So she might do it. She might play f6. Knight g4 is also an option, still threatening the same idea. Still threatening the same uh, pawn on f2? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The rook cannot easily leave the h file because h4 is kind of like. Ooh, she stops the bishop c3 idea. And it plays d4, okay. d4, okay. She has some dark squares under control. Do you think Anna is pushing her on time now? Yeah, definitely a little bit. I mean, it doesn't look like she's thinking too much. She's just making moves that seem yeah. good. I feel like this is the line that she went, she thought about, and she's going to blitz them out now. Yeah. And okay. Chisholm doesn't Let's like see. that. Injun doesn't love it, but we have still a better position. Yeah. The threat being knight g4. I can cast along here. <laughs> and Actually, attack yes. Her, and attack a rook. That'd attack be, the rook. <laughs> that'd be a crazy move. But then knight c4 is coming. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Oh, but no, we have bishop takes a3 there. If castles. No, we don't. Oh, knight c4 first. Actually, that wow, that loses for for black apparently, because mm -hmm. the move is long castles, knight c4, uh -huh. bishop c3. White is winning. Because your rook is attacked. Yeah, your rook uh -huh. is attacked, and there's a pin on the d pawn. <laughs> oh, I forgot the pin. Oh, it's so hard to see that the rook is on the d file. <laughs> yeah, that's a crazy move. So wow. long castle might actually be a decent move here. In fact, long castle is the fifth best move, chat. Imagine long castling right in, in this position. <laughs> I mean, I would consider it fast wise. Just, just for the memes. No, but it's a good move. It looks good. Like you, you put the rook on the defile, where the pawn might yeah. be attacked, and you attack the rook. Yeah, we have to move the rook. I think we have to move the rook back to like b five. Yeah. Wow. Okay, chat. She has officially like ten times our less than our clock. It's a good thing to not get obsessed about your opponent's clock, though. Like, true. She has to find good moves. She has thirty nine I mean, minutes to find good moves. It it would be the same if she allowed uh, Camille to escape with a draw because she didn't think enough. Yes, agree. So, yeah. Like. Camille's position is not completely lost either. Yeah. No, Max, 
the engine is not catching up with Anna's moves just yet. That question mark means nothing. She's down to two and a half. Okay, intense. Messi probably was really uh, hoping on the bishop c3 idea, and now that it's prevented, uh, no. so he has to have like second thoughts, like what do I do here? Yeah, it's, it's that thing you said earlier. When your opponent is long time, give them more decisions to think about. Exactly, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised to see long castles though. That'd be so cool, though. That's maybe maybe Rook D one is like better version. Because well, why would your why would your king be on C one? Like it's uh, to attack I mean, the rook, to, but it attacks the yeah. rook, but it's it's also in an open file. Like later on, it might True. be helpful to to have the king oh, yeah, on F one. Correct, correct. What elo is the commentators? Uh, well, I'm. About 1900 feet uh, online, about 23, 2400. So. She doesn't castle. It's about F4. Okay. Now, uh, Indian thinks knight C4. Now, our knight has moved. So, yeah, I mean, pretty so, much the only good square. Knight C4 attacking the bishop. Yep, so, we're so getting a tempo on a piece. And white this should be good. Really this should this should win. I'm not sure actually. Knight c4. How does uh, even white defend the bishop? Like because if rook d3, I win the pawn on h4, and then my other rook yeah. infiltrates. Okay, you win the pawn on d4 with check. This is what this is give... this hmm. is very tactical again. She takes the knight though, and Amaya snaps the knight. Okay. Interesting. And then? Now white has to take the F pawn. Yes, or else you lose the control over F3. So knight F3 wins the bishop. I guess he just wants to play this end game. Uh, knight against bishop somehow. But again, okay, not very... I think knight C4 was better. Like, keeping a little yeah, bit... Previously, knight C4 was the only winning move. Right now it's back to equal, but I'm sure the players don't think it's equal. Or at least Anna doesn't think it's equal. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I would say still black is a bit pushing here, because yeah, the pawn is stronger than the past yeah, pawn. Of course. But, but Anna's last few moves, it feels like she's, she's getting a little bit too obsessed. You know, I have to play quickly so that my opponent will, will blunder something. But, okay, uh, let's see for what does uh, hmm. like after f four, for instance, that was a moment to pause and think and see like what the best move is, right? So yeah, I guess immediately. But okay, it might still work out, I guess. Like quite still in two minutes, yeah. and yeah. So right now, engine wants king to go up, defend the d pawn. Yeah. King a six makes sense, yeah. Defend the D-pawn, and then now we have the knight c4 threats again. Our pawns are fine, our rook's very active. There is no pass pawns for white. I think we're good. Yeah, this is definitely a great position. Our rooks are better than our opponent's rooks. The yeah. knight is better. The only problem is, you know, that this rook on the third rank, if if we move the knight, might get active on d3, let's say. And d3, yeah. That's... I wish there was no f pawn, sorry, g pawn, so we could take on h4. That would be amazing. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a key knife for tactics. That's nice, yeah. So if white ever moves the g pawn, you know what to do. Yeah, we snap h4 immediately. But, okay. Uh, they're not going to play this. I mean, after mm -hmm. king e6, 
he C might play. Okay, G4 times the pawn anyway. So yeah, C will probably not. But King E6 is a, it's a good move. Remember, white can still castle, by the way. <laughs> imagine if... Yeah, okay. I'm not hoping for that, but imagine if she misses uh, castling somehow. And is winning for white in some line. I don't know. Ooh, that's going to be devastating. But there is also the, but... the other thing that if the rook was not on h3, uh -huh. And what white castle? There will be knight d3 checkmate. Knight d3 knight d3 checkmate? Yeah, I think oh. so, right? If the rook is not there, it would be mate. How is the rook on b7 protect b2 protected? By the knight on b3. Oh, uh, d3, sorry. I heard b3. Yeah, no, knight e5 to d3. So let's say e5 knight to d3. Yeah. Like, yes, yes. That is, that is that is checkmate. Like, correct. If there was no rook, it's me. I, I see. <laughs> that would be an amazing mate to play on the board. <laughs> okay, but white will have to like self mate. Uh, hmm. That would be a good puzzle for self mating one, I guess. Because <laughs> <laughs> you might, you know, might forget that white can cast that. Maybe I've never tried these self-made puzzles. Never. I think I should because I might be good at it. <laughs> Actually, this Finding this position it. can, if it's modified a little bit, like if you just put the rook on h1 and, or well, let's put the rook like say somewhere around them. I don't know, on a4. I don't know, and uh, say why to move self-made in two, self-made in one. Self-made in nice, one. Actually. Nice tricky puzzle. To find castle. Actually, she plays knight c4. Ooh, knight c4. Okay, she's attacking the bishop. She's okay. going directly for into rook d3. But now it okay, says white, best move is castling, by the way. White's only move is, is castle, castle long. Yeah. Chat, imagine castling on the 26th move. And like on an empty board. I, I he wouldn't be surprised if she missed that. I want to see True, the reactions. Yeah, like, I'm, so tuning, I'm tuning into this room. White's only move yeah, is castles along here. Otherwise, she loses yes. at least a pawn. And okay, White bishop f4. What are we doing with bishop f4? At the very least, we can take on g2. But maybe rook d3. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe c, c will... Mm, okay. Uh, rook d3, uh, we have rook takes on h4. h4, right, yeah. So, okay, let's see. White has one minute. If she castles here, that should be an amazing move. White has one minute, chat, everyone. Anna's uh, looking at us as well. Camille is uh, very low on time. She's and very also, yes, as, as Mega Ape is saying, Rook Knight C4 also enables the Rook to come to E8. She plays it! Chat, look at the stream. Wow. Anna is not surprised by it, I think. Yeah, she, she, knows. I mean, didn't look she knows. She knows. Of course she knows. <laughs> That's a baller move, guys. But that was a great move, actually, by White. Yep. Yeah. So now yeah, White is playing really easy. well. It's yeah. just a clock. Okay, so White now can... Black can now trade everything on D2. But the endgame is apparently equal. As the old uh, Russian saying goes, all rook end games are yeah, drawn. All rook end games are drawn. Hannah can still cause problems here. Yeah. Moving the kink, I guess. King up, eighty to whatever square. Takes c6, king e6, king e6. Rook c8, yeah. maybe a move? Rook c8 is a move, yes. Threatening some uh, nasty discoveries. The problem here is that after this uh, castle, uh, the move bishop c3 is very strong for, uh, 
for white, white. because the pin. Yeah. So we have to get out of the pin. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if Anna goes for the exchange on D2. Although that feels very a little bit throwing away your I mean pieces. like is yeah. I don't know. Like I just plays like King D3 and suddenly you might even like there might even be winning chances for white there. If uh, if she can get some H5, H6, get an outside Look, passer. So. B8. That's a good move. It looks good to me at first. Okay, Rook ace b8 apparently loses. Well, the engine says so at least. Because? Because of bishop b4. Oh, of course. Block the... Bishop b4 opens an attack on the d4 pawn. And... and disconnects the rooks. Yeah. So, this is... This is actually quite scary for us. I think we have to get out of there with the king. Otherwise, That's it's going to be tough. engine recommends king e6 or king c6. Yeah, these bishop moves are very scary, actually. Hmm. Rook takes d2 is... It says 0.00, .00 by the engine, but that's because it's a rook end game. Yes, Anna does not draw, want to play for a draw. This is probably a draw, yeah. She does not want to play for a draw here. Yeah, especially not with 30 minutes against one. She wants to find a way to keep the pieces on the board. Yes. Her best practical chance would be retreating? The rook, or no, just moving the king. I think to get away from the, the rook king. again runs runs into bishop c three. So yeah, mm. I think king e six is pretty much the only move to kind of keep fighting for a win because otherwise there are like simplifying moves or just that right winning moves if you're not too careful. So king yeah, e six. The camera, but it's okay, chat. See there, if it comes back, it comes back, or otherwise, follow the mod and blame Apple. Oof. Actually, every day you joined, the camera died. It's me, yeah. And I was actually thinking, like, I have to go in like soon, very soon, <laughs> to catch the to catch the supermarket before closing. Oh right. So. Yeah, but okay, now the camera died, so maybe that's why, because I decided to stay a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, I guess I'm going. I guess Anna will take a thing here, so. Do you really think? No, Anna played king e6, best move, let's go. Okay. Okay. She plays it. Okay, no pins. Let's no pins. Uh, king e6 is a great move. Yeah, Evan, and I'll know. We're, you can click the link that's pinned in chat. The chesscom live link that one has the times as well as the moves and currently white is almost at one minute as you can see white is now currently below a minute wow and it's, hard to see what, it's hard to see what white should do here I mean, Bishop B4, okay, that. Bishop B4 is the answer, but that trade. hangs the pawn on G2, right? And yeah, exactly. It's a pawn trade. You take, take, but then the knight gets at. No. No. Bishop B4 played, by the way. Okay. She plays it. She hangs G2. Hangs as in gives up G2. Yeah, I guess you just trade, yeah. Knight, Rook D4, and then Knight And then five. Knight can just. Stay next to the king and say that we're okay here. I mean, there is rook takes g5 ideas. Rook it's takes wrong. g5? Oh, yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. I would say yeah. black steel exactly. strategy is better. Hangs g2, hangs h4, d4. And then. Also, also uh, black is not forced to take on g2. She might do something else. I don't know what 
maybe king e5 immediately or something. I don't know. King e oof. King D8. E5, okay. Every Wait. move here is 0, 0.00 by the engine. Yeah, I guess it's, it just I guess it's a draw, yeah. I guess it's a draw. Yeah, keep but, thinking uh, there were great pieces and draw. But practically, black is still the one pushing, I would say. Do you think black should hold on to the D pawn? I mean, if she can, yes. The question is, can she do that? Because rook d8, bishop c3. This might be... Not sure. Not sure. Hmm. I'm also I'm also getting a bit worried that Anna might you know start to realize that she's not winning anymore and you know kind of panic a little bit but probably she should you know be objective like this is yeah it's a very important skill in chess to be objective you know even if you make a mistake just realize okay the position is probably not winning anymore but what's the best like practical try to try and push for a win sure. here. Sure. You always play the position. But okay, I think I'm gonna go for a minute. Sure, no worries, man. Take, take your maybe time. I'll maybe I'll join later, although probably not. But let's say. Just hope that if the game is going on, and I'm still winning, or she's won. Yeah, already. yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Beer oh, so let's see if the cam comes back. All right, chat. Do you think the cam's gonna come back, Camille? <laughs> Sorry. Oh god, that's so bad. Okay, sad for the cam. It's tough to say now, but chat, we still have a long time. Let her think. This is her time to think. Maybe she'll like cook some practical way out. We don't see it, but you never know. With one minute left, Camille is in serious time trouble. Let her cook, indeed, as you can see. Shortish, you're right, but Black's uh, White's position is not that weak to force a bad move. And I don't think Anna should play quick moves just to play quick moves. First night, that, that, is, the, that is the joke that I was going for. It is so bad I didn't repeat it, but that was, I liked it. There is no chance of flagging, I'm afraid, because every move gives you 30 seconds, and white is good enough to make holding moves within 30 seconds. She does need to work hard for this win. All right, <clears throat> we're still waiting. Anna's down to 25 minutes, which is okay, which is very safe. She needs to grind this thought process, go down in the tank, and let's see what she comes up with.
engine thinks there's no way to save all the pieces. Best idea, make the rooks keep grabbing all the pawns and go into a drawn rook and pawn endgame. Which is quite sad for us to know, given we had a better position and we were up on the clock by, I don't know, like 6 minutes to 50 minutes or something. But yeah, let's see what she comes up with. We don't, we don't know what they evaluate the position as. They could be thinking that white's worse. They could be thinking it's equal. See, rook c8 is a nice move. The problem is you want to give a knight discovery. As soon as you make a discovery, the rook is hanging on b2. So once you move the rook, white has time to deal with it. Her opponent did find some good moves, and Amaya probably had to spend a little more time on a move earlier, I think. After f4. After f4, if she went knight c4, I believe why she didn't go was after rook d3. Oh, there's a lot of threats. Wow. You guys should check the position, guys, later. If you can, go to the live link. After the move F4, there was a crazy line by the engine. But okay, we don't talk about it now. We're back at the current position. Anama's on 22 minutes on the clock. Opponents on 1 minute. It's black to play. They've played 27 moves. So she's thinking on her 27th move. There is no extra time to be added. This is all they get. Yeah, David, I think it has like something to do with either her phone or adjunct. Because <laughs> the one day he wasn't here, the camera did not die. Okay, if you go rook g8, yes, black can definitely double up on the pawn. Or even play bishop c3, I think, as the rook is hanging. Actually, the usurper. Agjet sus. Blame Agjet just. <laughs> I don't think he can be blamed here, but you can still try. He's down to 21. She takes the pawn on g2. All right, chat. She's going pawn trading and she's taken on g2. Welcome, Raiders. Welcome in. How was the stream? I see we had a familiar commentator on a familiar channel. Camera doing camera things once again, as usual. Did Jessie win her game? I think she was playing, right? Tell me, chat. I thought she won the Continental Championship already. What was she playing again? Like, is this something else? Like, is this classical as well? Oh, screws. Screws, your duties are not over. Agjet just left me alone. So it would be very nice to talk to you right now. If, if you're still able to. Ooh, Jesse won. Very nice. Very good to hear. I hope you guys had a fun stream. So in this game, Anamaya has a crazy time advantage, as you can tell. At one point, I think she was up by, I don't know, like 40, 45 minutes or so. The position was good too, but in one, one position, she didn't find like the right idea. And now the position is objectively equal. But she's still pushing on the clock, as you can tell. Knight d, knight e5 has been played. 
So white is now once again under a minute. And this is the position. We have a very active rook on the second. Let's see what what Anamaya can do. Rook C3 play. Wow. Okay. She's posing some threats. This game could still go either way. Or most likely outcome should be a draw if white plays all the best moves. I expect Anamaya to not blunder, especially given her heavy time advantage. But it's still not clear to see where it's not clear where the victory is. White seems to have decent play on increment. Which is why I'm worried. Anamaya is definitely trying to find the most practical ways to get her opponent to blunder something. But let's see. I could do soundboard sounds. He's played the move king f5, all right? Getting the king up. The, the rooks for white are very active as well. And we don't know what may happen. It, kind, it could look dicey. Anything happens though, if there's a pin, we luckily still have f6. But now the rook's gone down to the seventh rank with uh, an attack on, well, the A7 pawn. Oh, welcome Raiders once again. We have another raid. Wow. Alexandra Chess, Alexandra Prado. Anamaya's friend from Iceland, who she's going to meet in Spain again. How was the stream? Hope you had a good one. Welcome in, Raiders. For those who don't know, this is... Firstly, let me apologize for the cam. It was working until a few minutes ago. And... It's probably a phone problem. We hope it'll be back, but I don't know. <clears throat> this is round four of Anamaya's WGM Norm tournament. She currently needs to win every game, including this, to get the Norm, which is looking a little difficult, but it's okay. She's going to try her best. You can see she has a great time advantage. Position is like, very equal. Engine gives 0, 0.00 on like every line. But yeah, it could go anywhere. You never know. Let's see what she comes up with. The rook e8 is a nice move, saying that you can give up the pawn on a7. But that threatens some sort of back ranks. Let's see. Okay, if you take a7, though... I was thinking there's a knight c6 fork, but it doesn't work because there is a rook check. I mean, yeah, there's a rook check and you can protect the rooks again, like double on the d file. 
We don't save all the pawns right now. We take some pawns ourselves, I think. It's about activity. The thing is, there's no pass pawns anymore. So there's no winning chances. That's what the eval tells us. Earlier, she had a pawn on the D file. She had a pass pawn, which was really, well, causing problems to white. But I suppose Anna didn't look at that or didn't find it. It never. We'll see. We'll ask her after the game. So Anna made a small, quick move of knight, sorry, pawn to a6. He's getting it out of danger. For now, every pawn is. Well, both pawns are. Def well, no pawn is attacked, let's say. No pawn is hanging at the moment. Time pressure for her opponent, that's true. She's gone down to 32, 31, 30 seconds. I'm sure she'll play moves to hold, but we can always pray for a blunder. This is the best time to do it. She's down to 20 seconds and she makes a move with 21 seconds on the clock. Bishop to d6. Attacks the knight. The knight can now move. Um... Anna really has to calculate this. Max, why is it rude? Isn't that how we win chess games? F6 is a good move. Yes, that's true. Shoreditch, I think you're right. I agree with you. Because there's no pass pawns, it's very difficult with a rook end game. There's two rooks as well. Rook e8. Let me see. I mean, everything is drawing. White can put pressure with rook to d5, but then you can start picking pawns. The other rook gets active. Yeah, it's it's anything. It's anyone's game. Okay, she has moved the knight to g4, which was the engine's best move. Although at this point, best move doesn't make a difference because every move, like 5 to 10 moves down the line is 0, 0.00. So rook check has been given. Only moves possible are king to e6 and g6, either of them are fine. We don't know where she will go. I think she will go to e6. Because that attacks the bishop. So she will need to defend the bishop again. And that gives her a tempo. I think that's the plan she's going for. King e6, we should expect it. Knight g4 also does something else, which is attacks the h4 pawn, which is not defended anymore. So she plays king e6. Now white has to spend a tempo somewhere else. See, this is what we mean, chat. It's completely dead wrong, but you can still push for something. You know, you can create threats. Humans can falter in time trouble. You cannot expect them to play perfect chess in every move when they have a minute on the clock. Right now the bishop is attacked. The rook has to move to defend the bishop. And okay, if not, let's say the bishop moves for example. Now there is a pawn trade possible. So you could take the pawn on h4 and what takes on f7. Wait, sorry, you cannot do that. You cannot take on f7 because that hangs back rank. Yes, see now, chat, if, if you take the pawn with, if, you, if white takes on f7 with the f pawn, there is back rank checkmate. But you can take instead with the other rook because that puts two rooks on the f file. So there's no checkmate threat. 
that is a possibility. Anyway, king has gone to d5 after a check. <clears throat> Camille is still down on the clock by a lot. Every move she's playing with increment on about 30 seconds. She played this on 23. Wait, sorry, what? Oh, that was a transmission error. It was not check. It was rook takes. So, like, it was a PGN error. It was not check. It was rook takes. And she moved the king anyway. Because I think next move there may be a check. Repetition is possible at any time, but it's not forced. Let me see. It's black to play. She can give checks and trade a pair of rooks, or she can double up on the h file and check forever, or she could bring the knight back. Knight e5 is a move. White's rooks are very active too, that's a, that's a huge problem for us. At least our king is on a dark square, so there is no bishop checks. Mm, but our pawn is also hanging, remember. Cannot be taken right now because of the background threat. But I don't think white is going to give up. You know, white's not going to let the attack continue. Anyway, Anwaya still has 15 minutes on the clock. Let's see what happens. We can still pray for a blunder. Interesting. Maybe she did give the check and then she took, sorry. She did give the check, got the king out, and then she took. Now it's black to play with Anamaya's clock running down. And she has played rook hh2. She has doubled up on the second rank. Now chat, this is where we get dicey. There's only two moves, like I'm being an engine Andy right now. It's a rook end game. There's only two moves that hold the position for white, and that is rook to d7 check from the seventh rank, or you have to go to f8, which I don't understand. Let me check why. Yeah, because the other check from the fifth rank would be blocked by the knight. And you cannot move the rook anywhere else. <clears throat> but she finds it. She finds the only check. That was good. And now Anna has to move her king. She cannot advance up. There's only three legal moves in the position. And all of them are 0 0.00. It's crazy. I think Anamaya knows at this point that her king is too wide open for it to be anything. But you never know. P opponent is still under a minute. So it could be, it could go either way. Screws, nerdy bucks. You guys can. Any of you can uh, accompany me if you want it. She's played king to e5, attacking the rook. Now the rook has to go back or move somewhere. Like anywhere. The f-rook has to move somewhere. 
better to keep it double because otherwise there's opportunities. But there still is time. He has 26, 25, 24, <clears throat> 20 seconds on the clock, 19, 18. Maybe Anna can cook something out of the blue. She plays the safe move, rook f1, to defend from any back rank checks. But now, maybe Anna can push for some tactic that white misses. Max, bishop d6, you can just move the king, right? Move the king to e6, and we're trading. I mean, there's no... Yes, Anna would like to have both pieces, like as many pieces as possible. Mm, this is tough. But let's see where she goes from here. Rook a2 is okay. Rook c2 check is okay. Even knight f2 is fine. Because that may help it rerouting somewhere. Even bringing the king up to e4 is fine. Like they're all okay, objectively. But with this time and human play, not sure. So knight e3 actually loses for white, I just checked. The only move is rook e7. You can't uh, attack it because the bishop protects it. And once you move the king somewhere, uh, there is rook takes, and you cannot go to d5. Sorry, you cannot go to d4 because there is a rook f4 check, and that moves the king away. Yeah, the king in the open is uh, feeling the wind. Let's see where she goes from here. I know she has a repetition at any time, but with the time advantage, I think she will try as much as possible. She's given the check, rook c2. Um, king has only one move, because if you go to d1, there is knight check, so your king has to go there. And then rook can check on b2 again. You'll have to go to the corner. And you can make a repetition right there. So white has, black has a draw at any time she wants. <clears throat> because the king can never step on the d file. Rook a2, the thing is... <clears throat> White has checks herself. Uh, we may not get time to play the memes. Mm, I think rook trade, black has weaknesses as well. And with these pieces on the board, the king is also not really... It, it's tough. But white to <clears throat> to continue with the game. Um, black, what black can do is put a rook. Well, trade a pair of rooks by putting it on the file where the rook already is, like rook f two. Then maybe we can cook something. <clears throat> yeah, that's true. Bishops, this bishop can be very annoying. Our knight is not really doing much except making the e3 threat. Alright, let's see where this goes. 
engine still thinks this is objectively draw. There's no other result possible for a lot of moves. 10 minutes for Anamaya, one minute for her opponent. Crazy game. We've had moves. We've had rugby 2, king a1. And now Anamaya has a draw whenever she wants it. And she's going for it. She played rook a1. Uh, king is back on b2. Rook from h has gone to b2 to give a check. What do we do here? Okay, that's a different configuration. Maybe she can create a pair of rooks by giving the check on a1. Although I'm scared of bishop c3 later, it's, it's really weird. And our pawn on g7 is also going to be attacked. It already is attacked now. But she just goes to c2, and maybe she will repeat. King b1. We can go knight e3 here. Yeah, it's, it's looking like a repetition. So she's given a few checks on the second rank. Now it's her time to decide. Does she want to give a check and make a draw? Or do something else? She has the time to think, that's true, but Camille also has a little more time now. I don't think that makes a difference unless Anna decides to trade some pieces. I don't think the time really made a difference because Camille did find very good moves at the end, like when she was low on time after F4 really, after the position was objectively equal. He found like really good moves. Every drawing move was found. And she played a good, very good endgame, if you can call this an endgame. Ah, Anamaya might be disappointed with this, but it's okay. She, she tried. There was probably no real way to tell that which point she has to think and find, you know, spend her time, you know, because she had a good position from a long time. But only in one position she had like a completely winning move with like one idea, which was crazy. But there's no way to tell that that's when it would happen. Because she had a time advantage from many moves ago. Hi, James Oliver. Welcome to the stream. I am sad now. Can you cook up some creative ways? Because she's already given a few checks. I don't think we can repeat anymore. Yeah, Pat, on YouTube, you're right. The king can never step onto the d file because 93 check and white is getting mated. Yeah, three to nine. I think like one fifty of them is from James Hall. I don't think Anna missed long castles. The the move, sorry, the miss was a bit earlier. Hmm. Let's see how this ends. We still have the time ticking. Eight and a half minutes for Anna. She's played a different move. She's played knight to C, sorry, knight to F2.
Okay. We're allowing some checks, but we are threatening something, or she's trying. Anna's not the kind of player to just repeat and throw this without trying much harder. Her opponent's also still on time trouble. Let's see where they go from here. This is currently move 43 now that will be played. White still has a lot of moves to draw, or more like to hold. Mm. Any check, like there's lots of checks, rookie 1, rookie 7, even bishop c3 is fine, because if you take the bishop, you take the rook. All right, bye. <coughs> I'm just a little sad that, well, how this game went, how this game turned out, because we had a perfectly playable game, Camille was taking all the time in the world, very tough, like, indeed, you're absolutely correct. But okay, chat, it's not over yet. Let's see where this goes. Uh, she's still pushing her opponent on the clock. Mm, she's below 30 seconds at this point. And let's see where this goes. Maybe she will make a touch move error, even. <clears throat> and she's down to 13 seconds on the PGN. She's down to 9 seconds. Okay, I mean, she's going to make a move. But these time travel addicts, I swear to God. 3 seconds, 2 seconds, wait, what? Okay, the PGN shows it's uh, 0, but it's... Wait, what? Wait a minute. What's... Wait, well, hold up. Hold, hold, hold your horses. Hold your bishops, hold your knights. What is this? Check. Anna sees the mate, because... Wait, 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 what? She thought that she could trade rooks by taking on c7 and a2, but the check just gives a mate because rook to... Wait, rook c1 is mate. Rook anywhere is mate because the king has... Wait, I, I don't believe this is the game, guys. I don't believe this is the game. This can't be, this can't be it. She went down to what? Three seconds, two seconds? No, I can't. I can't believe this. No, dude, this this is not happening. This is not happening. This is not happening. What? I wait. What? Guys, guys, somebody, somebody. Sorry, I'm freaking out. If this is real, this is the most devastating loss for Camille. I I can't. I I want to feel bad for her. And she just, it says she flagged on the PGN, but I think they just no, this is shook not hands. Real. This is absolutely not real. No, this is not real. No, this is not real. No, this is no, 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 this is not real. Illegal! Hello. <laughs> Hello, Agjet. Oh my god, what just happened? Is, is, that, this, I, is I, this the result of yeah, prayers? This is GG. I came back just as she played rook c7. Rook c7? Are you serious? Like, okay, I take the rook, she takes this. But no I mean, way Anna is going to miss this. Yes, yeah, see, Anna four seconds. This. She played it with four seconds. Four. So. Four. Okay. I mean, I'm sure Anna saw it in a heartbeat. What? I, I, I am... I can't. I am, I, am, I am unable to can, chat. I am unable to can. I cannot. What? <laughs> Anna's in the chat. I see. GG. <laughs> what a game. What a game. What a game. I I can't.
Oh my god, no. No, just wait. No, 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 this is not real. <laughs> okay, guys, look at this. I'm so good at chess. I'm so good at chess. I just made a beautiful checkmate. <laughs> wow, that's actually happened. We're having a good time. Very good time. Wait, this, 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 this. I just made a beautiful checkmate. <laughs> what a way to end the day. I can't. Okay, chat, I'm going to shut up now. Uh, thanks. Thanks, everyone, for, for sticking until the very end. It really had to go down to the very, very last minute. Okay, I'm sure she'll tell us things about this game. I can't. Uh, I am unable yeah. to can. There, there is one game going on, and White is completely winning, so it might be over soon. Oof, what a position. That's too much sauce. Yeah, Mathieu is uh, losing against uh, Marcelo Panello. Oh, the guy who beat Anna and Camille both? Yep. Is losing, finally. No, I mean, yeah, no. He's winning. Yes, he is. Oh my he's god, black. he's taking down the I am. No, he's black. He's losing. Oh, sorry. Yes. Yeah. And he also has 10 seconds, so... This game is probably going to be over soon. No, Anna, engine doesn't know chess. Don't, don't trust the engine. Just go to move. Um, Anna's just checking her game in real time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the real mission was 94 though. 94 should have been played. 94, 94, 94, 94 white is with flash winning, yeah. That was the only real miss of the game. After that it was 0-0 zero, zero until the end. But what? Here, F4, here I have to go knight c4 because the idea is crazy. Just look at the line, it's mad. Oh man, it's so heartbreaking for Camille. Oh my. Woo! Why does three pawns up in the other game? Like three clean pawns up in an end game. Mm. Pro probably winning a piece as well. Or something. I don't know. Yeah. Dude, Camille played amazing. Like the clock was no factor at all. I guess it all, um, you know, built up until the last blunder. But seriously, she's amazing for her. Like you, nobody would guess that the time advantage was this big. It was crazy. But yeah, it is what it is. I guess in chess, you know, as they say, the end justifies the means. It doesn't matter how every move went, as long as who wins the game and who loses. What a game. How, how did you, what I really want to know is, oh man, I missed the cam. We, we missed cam so much. This is the one time where we needed the camera because she was low on time and she blundered like mate. And I, what I want to know is, what did Anna do to distract her opponent to go down to four seconds and hang me? This, this is what we need to know. Because Anna Mario here is playing mind games of another level. I mean, when I, when I joined again, because I was gone for a while, uh, I saw Knight F2 and I was like, oof, is Anna over pushing maybe? Maybe she should just make draw. No, she had to do bishop, something, right? Because I saw bishop c3 check, and I was like, hmm, bishop c3, rook b7, and bishop b2, and the rook on a2 is dropped. And I was like, ah, this might be... Yeah, correct. But then, but then I, I saw she's going like down to seconds, and I was like, what? is she flagging? And then I said rook c7, I was like, yay. I thought rook c7 was a PGN error. But because the evil dropped, 
That's why I saw the evil bar before I saw the move. But as soon as she took the rook, uh, sorry, gave the check. Oh my god. Yeah, and then I basically just turn the chat and spam soundboard. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you have great timing. Even if you don't bring camera luck, you bring good timing. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I'm never joining again. Because it seems like <laughs> Anna's phone just really doesn't like it. <clears throat> I don't know. Does this work? It doesn't work. What? What's winning a piece in the other game? A claim piece. And he's two pawns up. Where so. is... Oh, because uh, G4. Yeah, so the game should be over. I can ask mate in three. Ooh, nice. Cool. Matthew, I f you know, I forgot that this community still plays Valorant. Anna hasn't streamed it in so long. Oh, so that's where you guys were. But, okay. Sorry, YouTube chat, for, like, leaving you hanging. But yes, I was too excited and... You know, as they say, the clock is a piece, and Amaya was like a few pieces up, you can say. And it paid off. I am feeling so bad for Camille, but hey, we take those. I wish she wins every game after this. She played really good yesterday. Sadly, she lost both games today. She's also the best friend of Anamaya's friend, so we wish her all the best later. And Norm chances are still alive. Salah. Yay! Five, uh, five, five out of games five. Left, guys. Five games left, guys. Five guys, she has five games left. If she wins every game, she gets a WGM norm. Yeah, three of them are with white, one of them is against another 2000 who has zero points. So, who's on zero points, right? That, uh, basically, it's just one, one tough game, basically. <laughs> uh, with the IM, right? I guess, yeah, yes. yeah, basically, guaranteed uh, norm. <laughs> basically, guaranteed. I mean, like, come on. You think Anna can lose against an IM? No way. She only loses against GMs. Bucks, what do you mean? That's a really what? cute chat mate on the last board. Yeah, on the last board? Yeah. Our flags. Wait, where is... Lost. The, the board that is going on, like, board 3. It's oh, board G4 mate. Oh. G4 mate is... The... G oh, <laughs> what? Oh my god. Yeah, if, even I if Rook takes... I'm still G4 is month. Hi. Okay, I'm, I'm. Hey, your voice is very low. A tiny bit. Ugh, oh, blame Apple again. Ugh, oh, oh my god. Blame Apple's earphones, blame Apple's phone, blame Apple's camera, blame... Okay, she doesn't have a MacBook. If she had a MacBook, I would, like, unsub, unfollow. You guys couldn't hear her, right? Okay, turn it oh, on for yeah. the stream. Um... Yeah, Anna's here, but... Hello? <laughs> Can you hear her now? Okay, how about now? Is this better? Better. Okay, a bit yeah. better, yes. Yeah, it's the laptop. Yeah, I, I just speak softly because, like, the few minutes after the last game finishes, it's still quiet. <laughs> so I don't yeah, want yeah, to be I guy. can tell it's quiet. Congratulations! Thanks. I don't know how you won that, man. Oh, it's sir. Man, I thought I was. What do you know? It's okay. Uh, let me just um... full size. I can't see like this. Sorry, chat. Uh... Yeah. Oh, she played oh, Can you scroll up? Crazy. Can you scroll up? What do you mean, scroll up? The uh, first rank is. Uh, I can't cut do off. that. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Yeah, I'm not going no, to no, change no, that. No. <laughs> okay, good. So, in the opening, it was fine. When she took on 8 7, it was bad. Well, kind of bad. Yeah, you played like, proper it, you know? continuation. I guess the opening was not so great. Yeah, I didn't really know. Uh -huh. This is so. Yeah, I'm an idiot, man. Why do I play nine of six? I was like, <laughs> like she has, she can put just play e five f four, and like that's the whole point of not playing knight f three yet. I, <laughs> I I just put up a poker face for that. But yeah, that was terrible. But she was taking a lot of time, even in this position. 
Yeah, I guess she just like didn't expect any of this, but whoa, this is like so bad. Right. Yeah. So I guess the, you out prep the prep. Let's go. I guess she was out of book after bishop e7 already because I guess I don't play this then, as much. But um, b five b four was amazing, and then yeah, she tried to get creative with knight f seven. Yeah, I, I baited that and I was happy about yeah. it because that the reason why I played queen b6 is to take on d4. Um, it's a bit harsh to call it a miss. It's really harsh. It's the second best. It's not. It's not. Engine doesn't know shit. Continue. Crazy. I didn't know what to do. Like, she found all yeah, those this, annoying this. moves. Rook h3, f4. They were such good moves. Yeah, rook h3 was so good. Defense yeah. everything on the third rank. Your knight has no tricks. Yeah. Crazy. And setting up bishop c3 in some lines. Your uh, pawn to d4 was good. Like, it took her aback. Like, we saw that. She, I think she didn't expect this. Because you stopped the bishop c3. I need like to that. stop this. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, you need to stop. Because knight g4 here, is a move, but the rush. Hmm. Here, the after f4, tell us your thoughts. I'm, wait, I'm, I'm removing the line so I don't see the best move. Um, I was just happy to take that knight off the board. Wait, yeah, why did I not play knight c4? I don't know, I was just happy to take the knight off the board, and I thought my knight is so much better than this bishop, but the thing is I underestimated a lot of moves. Like, I see one move, and then I don't see the second move after it, and then I'm like, oh, uh, I made a mistake then. But... Knight c4. I guess I saw Long Castle and I hated this. With bishop yeah, Long c3. Castle. Some people thought that you may, you guys may have missed it. But yeah, Bishop c3 after Long Castle, it's yeah, and you have a pin with on the d file. It's crazy. Yeah, I did this why I didn't want to play any knight c4 or um, any knight c4 moves because mm. of this. And I was just happy to take, and I thought, okay, like yeah, mm. um, I don't know. I so. I saw all of this, but I missed. I missed rook d3, bishop c3. I thought, wait, my whole position is collapsing. I play king e6 to play like king d5 or king e5, and then I realized mm -hmm. she can just take that pawn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like it was every single move, it was just getting worse. And I, I was like, I'm the one with time, and I'm not able to see moves. <laughs> bishop c3 was always a pain, like such a huge pain. Yeah, so that's why I, I just like traded down and I thought I have to like somehow get on the first rank with my other rook um, because this yep. king, like, that's the only thing I have. Yeah, you, you did it exactly right. Like the best practical move, place the knight on g4, uh, make h4 hang and take it. But here bishop c3, right? Yeah, I, yeah, I saw bishop c3 and I was so depressed seeing this. I was like, oh. Am I even losing this? <laughs> I thought, no, like, in the worst draw. case scenario, it should be a draw, yeah. Okay, this is Dogfish 11, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I yeah, thought... No, I, I... Uh, what was I going to play here? Only one move is good? I thought I was going to play this. <laughs> oh my god. What were you thinking of playing here? King E4, I think. Oh no. No, but now King E6 is fine. I think if it was on the board, I would have played king e6, just because you're attacking the rook and there's no check. Yeah, mm. that would make sense. But, okay, can you tell us how exactly, like, was it like a blindness that she just played rook c7? Um, my Impression. idea is that... Um, I, I don't know, maybe like she missed something, like, you know, when you, you're like, oh, there's no rook b2, because after that I have bishop c3, or I, or maybe she thought she could, like, cover the check with the rook, I don't know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's just, yeah, like, in time travel, these things are so common, and I was surprised it didn't happen before, <laughs> because yeah, she was alone on the clock for so long. Yeah. Earlier, because of your knight was on g4. There was no going to the D file. But now that Unite's on the F file, there's no going to the C file. It's yeah. very nice that you had this kick paid off. Yeah, she Perhaps did have two minutes here, but I guess like overthinking. And also Bishop C3 is 
it's an easy move when you see it, but maybe it was just not in her vision at all. Not in her, yeah, not in her radar and, and low time. And I guess she didn't she expect Knight of Two. I think that's the issue. She didn't right. expect this because she yeah. seemed surprised. Like, very well done. Thanks. <sighs> very, very well done. Like, everyone went crazy. Mm -hmm. So good. <clears throat> All right. Um, good day at the office. Another day, another no cam stream. It's just incredible. I, no, hey, I it think was what happened is that my long internet long. was not working. I was on data, I think, instead of Wi-Fi. So it was working, uh, but then stopped working. <laughs> no, okay. It did glitch for a little bit earlier, but it came back. And then it only left, I think, maybe 30 minutes ago or 40 minutes ago or something. <laughs> Thanks, Jim Solver. Thank you. No, I saw that also I got a notification saying you use 80% of your data for this month. I was like, oh, yeah, that's, that explains a lot. That explains a lot. Yeah, we'll fix the camera again tomorrow. I, I think I turned off Wi Fi because the hotel Wi Fi is so bad. Oh. Yeah. All right. Well, you deserve some good dinner and rest and oh, I'm so sleep and everything else. <laughs> Thanks a lot for hanging out today, chat. It was a pleasure. Thank you, it was guys. Worth it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for commentating. Thanks so much. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. It was too good. Um, yeah. Um, should I do a recap? I, I don't. Oh my god. The thing is, I want to do recaps, but they're like the games are stacking up. If I do, if I postpone to tomorrow, I'll have to do four games. <laughs> mm. Oh, hmm. I think you can do it today. Uh, up to you if you feel like it. Otherwise, uh, it's whatever. Let me try to like catch the supermarket here because I haven't been able to visit the supermarket here. <laughs> All right, all right, then go for it. I will uh, send raid, it's fine. Yes, thanks for yeah. watching. Thanks for covering. See you tomorrow. <laughs> same, right, well, yeah. not, Bye, sort chat. of same time. Um, 9.30 a.m. Time, same time, yeah. 9.30 a.m. tomorrow. All right, bye, bye everyone.